had been tasked by Madame Petunia uh, to try and find out what happened to Bridget, one of the Joy Girls at the Four Roses. Um, <laughs> did a little bit of sleuthing, and he tracked her down to Club Lush um, as a last known location, uh, particularly uh, because she'd been offered a job there by a guy named uh, Cyril Bars, the deputy manager. Hmm. Smith and Shade managed to fucking, like, just ghost into their pretty, like, not ghost into their, but, like, just charm their way into their pretty good. And, uh, I mean, there was minimal bloodshed. Uh, we didn't yeah. kill anybody. It's we weird. Let's go, I go, we went into a club and it didn't end up kaboom. Yeah, no, did you, did you not, kill yeah. Cyril? I can't remember. <laughs> No, we planted no, you something paralyzed on his... him. That was it. Use the pot. You put his par- paralysis dart, and then we planted stuff on so that he would get killed by someone else. Yeah, mm. made it look like he was a snooch. Dirty snooch. We all know what they get. Brutally murdered. <laughs> Indeed, Pitches get stitches. Grass oh, yeah, gets and then you, and Pitching. then you got, uh, then you got some clues as to. Um, that he may have been involved potentially with some uh, human trafficking or something something thereabouts, um, and some connections to a guy by the name of Tidworth. Uh, but specifically because um, he had some payments coming into him uh, from Tidworth Holding Limited. Uh, LL- oh, yeah. Tidworth Holding LLC, whatever that means. Um, Limited liability. Ah, cool. I just heard it as sound like business speak mm-hmm. uh, that sounded good um, and yeah you actually managed to sort of get out of there uh, DJ Big Russian uh, managed to uh, yeah. swing his weight <laughs> around and no one no one sort of thought the wiser and you made a, a clean getaway DJ Big Russian managed to spin them decks without shocking anybody with a lightning fist <laughs> That's such a weird sentence that's just said. <laughs> <laughs> it shall be immortalized in stone one day. Yep. <laughs> Is it should we just pursue Grubbs's career as a DJ <laughs> just instead of all of this illegal shit that we're doing? Just put all of our efforts We've into making him big break. the best <clears throat> DJ in the world. Yeah. I mean, DJ Big Russian is an amazing name. It's true. I, I can't think of anything better or more descriptive for Grubs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seven half a tall Russian guy with an electric hand and a metal fist. Well, whilst you guys debate that, I just need to go. I'll be one minute. By the way, fuck you, Andy. Oh yeah, fuck, fuck you, Andy. And fuck you, Dom. Fuck you too, Dom. Slightly less so. Yeah, Richard, just make sure that that bit's not censored. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's just the cat stuff. <laughs> Definitely didn't burn anything down or murder any kittens. Definitely not just yet. <laughs> this yeah. time. Yet being the operative word in our sentence. The night is yet young. Mm-hmm. So let's get jiddy with it. I've realised uh, that yeah, even so... even if we don't fuck with the cat. I can just randomly cut bits out and just put in a, cat, a picture of a cat. <laughs> yep. Oh. 
It's gonna be. It's just gonna be like a two-hour video of just a picture of a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a session thirteen log? Yeah. We can't see it. Oh, sorry. I must confess, yeah. I'm very, I'm very, oh, I'm very impressed with your uh, diligent session records. I always try and make sure I do it at the end of the session. That is the sensible. That is the sensible and wise thing to do, which is why apparently I never, I'm never able to do it. <laughs> but he missed it. Did it? Did it from us? This is true. Lazarus PMC. Aren't they the people we burnt? Didn't we blow? Up, Lazarus. He, allegedly. Who did you what? Didn't we blow up Lazarus PMC? No, that was Cardinal Biotech. Oh, sorry. Mm, you oh, idiot. Maybe well, religious slash biblical names that I just can't keep track of. <laughs> so many, so many companies you just sort of fucked over casually. Mm. I, I don't even know casual, they had names. <laughs> I was going to say, fucking over Cardinal wasn't particularly casual, that was pr pretty, pr pretty hardcore. We, we, we literally blew up a cyber hole with a bomb. And a good strong moment for us. And I feel that's only, when we really I, came together as a team. we borrowed the CEO. Oh yeah. For a bit, before everyone was like, maybe someone should take him home. I mean, you say borrowed, we, we, we briefly, we had a brief interlude at a strip club, and then we delivered him home safely and got the bus back to, the, to our home. Our base. Well, two of you did, didn't you? Yeah, and you guys had a massive car chase across the city. <laughs> Me and Mrs. Smith are just like, yeah, so buses are great. So they're, yeah. they're bringing out the new Oyster card soon. <laughs> yeah, super Oyster card? I hear what? they're red. Cut to wicked sick fucking car chase. I still like yeah. to imagine that it's, we're just going the other way down the same road. <laughs> Just like <laughs> that looks like our friends. <laughs> that, that is our friends. Oh well. All right. Cool. So, so you guys have rendezvoused back at the Four Roses, um, armed with a little bit more knowledge and uh, probably beard up a little bit by now. Um, uh, what's your guy? What are you guys doing? Brilliant. Um. So, I think we know. So we we reckon they. I mean, normally at this stage, I'd probably ask either Larry or Mister Smith if they could help us try and identify some more information regarding Tidworth Holdings and or Lazarus PMC. However, they're not here, and I think it'd be more entertaining for us to do it without them. <laughs> So, my understanding is that they are uh, and or passed out drunk slash at a weekend orgy, as per usual. Yeah, um, yeah. so on the way back, I mean, you um, get back and you, you start to get a bit suspicious because um, you didn't see uh, Larry for a good portion of the time whilst you were in the club. And you get back and you, re uh, you, get, you realize he was just fucking chugging. He was just going to town and he is absolutely ruined passed out in the corner of the bar and yeah he doesn't look like he's going to be much use to you right now good uh, I, I take great satisfaction in the consistent fact that whenever Andy's not present the given excuse is his character's too pissed to function I mean it's it's it's, it's a good classic it's fine. I think he's been carried like halfway across the world in the D&D campaigns oh, yeah. <laughs> didn't we pick him in a barrel we, we shipped him once. We shipped him we in shipped a barrel. Him. <laughs> and then, a barrel, yeah, and then yeah. Baron opened it with a hammer <laughs> and yeah. hit him. Oh, life goals. Anyhow, um, and assuming, yeah, assuming Mr. Smith is off doing unspeakable things to his kittens. Yeah, he, um, he, as you were leaving, he just, uh, you seemed to turn back, make eye contact with, um, this, um, rather burly, um, uh, Gentleman, uh, Eastern European lady um, in a lot of like leather gear, and um, he just uh, sort of said he'd, he'd catch up with you guys, and you haven't seen him since. Hmm. 
But chairs in Durex have uh, <laughs> gone up. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard him chatting about pinging a tent out the other day, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, first off, should we give this information for Petunia? Um, oh, no, it's that session fucking 13 I'm looking at. Fucking idiot. Hmm. Um, Do we tell her? Do we tell Petunia that we think maybe her girl's been trafficked? <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's just go find company. What we got to lose, no? Yeah. Let's do it. Right. Um, uh, Chip's just going to follow Doc Grubbs. Mm -hmm. find, uh, find phone book. Well, I mean, there's the internet. I mean, digital phone book, whatever. Find phone book. <laughs> Shade, can you uh, get that sorted? Clicks the phone book button. <laughs> <laughs> where we yeah, find so... <clears throat> where we find Lazarus? So yeah, are you just googling Lazarus? Yes. Um, yeah. So when you do that, um, I mean, you come to uh, the company's uh, homepage. Um, it, it looks very shiny, um, uh, very patriotic um, for an, an American company. It's um, it's got like uh, stars and stripes everywhere. It, Does the it mouse cursor like... become an eagle? Uh, no, but <laughs> there is at least twenty eagles on the screen at any one time. Like the the, the <laughs> logo. If you've ever looked at an American passport, is oh there, god! Is there a contact us page? Um, there is. It's like a little one of those little email Dropbox things. Um, it have a address. Uh, yeah, the email address is there. It's just um... no, the real address. Oh, um, uh, it has it has uh, one for its American uh, headquarters, uh, but nothing there for its um, any sort of like UK branch or anything like that. Not that you can see. Not to say there isn't one, but it's not just like on their like public uh, website. <laughs> Shit. Can you find UK address? I don't know. Mr. Referee, can I find a UK address? <laughs> um, I'm I mean, going to say I'm sure. It's like Googling, you know, Lazarus yeah. Holt, UK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way I'm going to think of it is that you are doing some kind of like, yeah, like hacking. Not like hacking, but like you're digging a bit deeper into oh, like, maps. I'm using yeah, Google 2 instead of Google 1 oh, shit. like an idiot <laughs> um, but yeah so um, roll me in place. see if you're able to just to like sort of chip away more like at the their online presence to see if there's anything you can find um, yeah, so when you when you uh, look through it a little bit more, you see references to a London office, um, and uh, you do uh, through not even just like on that website, through like checking some other sort of like just sort of like public records things, you manage to um, find an address, and you have an address for the Lazarus <gasps> Lazarus PMC's uh, London Holdings. Um, it's not in the very centre. It's ever so slightly out um, uh, of the centre of uh, London, and it's not necessarily on the outskirts, but it looks like it's probably out there for a reason to give itself a little bit of space. Okay. Uh, it's not in Surrey, is it? <laughs> no mm -hmm. one wants to go to Surrey. It's probably more dangerous, for honest. That's even yeah. worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather go to Surrey. Nobody wants to be in Croydon. Not even the people who live there. Not particularly, no. But it's been uh -oh. gentrified. Full disclosure, I don't believe any of us have ever actually spent any real time in Croydon. It'd be a lovely place. Oh, I was in Croydon like a month ago. For a few hours. <laughs> and then I left. <laughs> Passed through it on the train. Now we're done offending people of, the people of Croydon. <clears throat> uh, I have idea. 
Uh, Trip, we still have uh, workman uniforms in truck? Yep. Alright, hip plan. Uh, head, we give you moustache. Uh, Trip and I dress as uh, workmen. We we do we do truck up as a highway highway maintenance vehicle. We dig hold in pavement outside headquarters. Uh, we find uh, the fiber cable thing. Uh, Shade, you do your thing with the hacking and the stuff. Uh, you find home address for for Tidworth, dude. We we go find him. We we, we punch until he say things. Okay, I, I mean, I imagine the first thing he's going to say is, ow, my face. But yeah, that sounds... It's okay, you bring knife. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I think this plan decided to get a strain. I don't have any bombs involved. Yeah. Well, we can bring some bombs just in case. Oh, it'd be oh. a good way to get the hold on quickly. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, just a uh, little bomb on the road. Mm. Quick hole. Problem if we if we cause actual damage, real repairmen might come. Hmm. And we then we end up as Spider-Man meme. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. I don't want to sound like uh like I'm uh, speaking down on you at all. But do you guys know what PMC stands for? Private military something. Corporation? Yeah, private company. military contractors. So, just bear that in mind. It'd be oh. fine. Yeah, <laughs> we have high vis, nobody questions anything. Alright. Uh, uh, maybe we need, me thinks maybe we need uh, Digger to look more legit, yes? Um, yeah. Only miniature one, but, you know. I can get one of those. How you say a mini digger? A baby digger. Oh. Um, can I, using contacts of the like um, carriage that I like was doing work at, get a digger at all? Um, yeah, you know a guy. Um, yeah, the guy who runs it um, probably has some contacts. Do you want to roll? Um, yeah, maybe some persuasion and fast talk. Yep. Yeah. You go over to your uh, your old boss there, um, uh, Terry. <laughs> White Terry. Mm. How's it White Tezar. Got me a digger. Uh, I can slash fast talk. Uh, it's like second bottom then, empathy. Yeah, middle left, basically. There we go. I <laughs> mm. uh, I mean I can I can hire you out one out maybe it might cost you a little bit um uh, probably uh how long are you needing it for um I quickly message the guys how long are we gonna need it for yeah uh, one day maybe two probably one uh, we'll go two days Okay, for the for the two days that uh, that I mean, I could do your deal uh, probably about four hundred. How about I do some uh, next time I'm doing some work for you? I won't you won't have to pay me? Get some free work out of it. You know, I do good work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I, pr I appreciate what you mean, mate, but. I'm a little bit tight this month, so uh, yeah, afraid afraid it's got to be that four hundred or nothing. I'm afraid. Oh, uh, paying four hundred. Mm -hmm. There you go. Cool. There we go. There you go, mate. It's four hundred, and uh, I'll do some overtime this Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just get paid it back. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cool, and I'm gonna drive the digger back the uh, four roses okay so five hours later when uh, trip <laughs> rejoins you yeah you, you, you take the truck and bring it back with the truck you're not going to drive a digger oh really mm. fucking yeah. own maximum speed of about three miles an hour okay so i <clears throat> take the truck and then i use the truck to take the digger back home 
Exactly. You take the truck to carry the digger. You take the digger to break into the base. You take the base to break into the base. <laughs> To pop the bomb and all his bag. <laughs> to catch the man, to catch the man who stole the girl, who stole the girl. To... <laughs> I, I, I must insist that you, you roughly sketch that song out at the end of the session to explain the session and just sing it in mute all once. <laughs> Brilliant. Just bullet point out all the things we do for the session and at the end just sing it back to us. <laughs> That'd be an interesting way to recap. I, I, I and that, that's that, the session's notes as well. <laughs> Matt Mercer won't have shit on me. <laughs> Matt who? <laughs> Matt, exactly. Damn right, Matt who? Um, uh, um, Alright, we have Digger. Is it worth yeah, us it. Uh, learning how to use a Digger? <laughs> Just so we don't look like idiots? <laughs> I, I mean, I can do open hard surgery. I think I can manage the Digger. Yeah, I mean it's a sound, sound line of logic. That. Trying, then to, pretty, think, pretty simple. trying to think, reason. trying to think of a good right way. Don't have fucking degrees. Trying to think of a good way for you to prove it to Shade that it involves Andy's motorbike. I will offer to move Andy's motorbike without damaging it with the digger. Yes. <laughs> And then, and then fumble it on purpose. Do it. Oh, yeah. That's the sound of the bike getting crushed. <laughs> How, how's the music volume drawn? The, the, the music volume. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. That's good. All right. Um, just checking. So you're just trying to practice with the little digger, like moving, moving the cut, the bike around, are you? Uh, he's not going to move the bike, he's not that fucking stupid. Alright. He'll, 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 he'll just drive around a bit and like play around with the arms. Okay, uh, how how long are you spending doing this? I don't know, half an hour. Okay, have you got any skill in operate he heavy machinery at all? I uh, maybe forgotten that was a skill. Uh, do I have any... It is under reflexes. Uh, I have one in a heavy operating machine. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. No, that's. Uh, yeah, no, I'll take that. I'll throw a couple of points of luck into that because uh, this is otherwise going to be very bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, you, you, you dick it around. Yeah, you you get yourself a little bit more acquainted with it. So I would say you like after, uh, by the time of after half an hour, you could probably possibly like drive it around and stuff like that. You're probably not doing those sick. You know those videos of people like opening bottles of, uh, of like beer and stuff with oh, like, yeah. the digger arms. You're probably not doing those cool tricks just yet, but um, you, you look competent enough. Dream big, buddy. Dream big. <laughs> All right. Uh, how we do for ammunition and bombs? I mean, the truck has some micro missiles and a missile launcher. Um, is a missile launcher on the truck? When the fuck did that happen? <laughs> oh, um, we, we stole one? Yeah, you got it from... Uh, you actually mount it to the truck? Yeah. Yeah, he spent his downtime mounting it to the truck. Yeah. Oh, good lord. How many, how many rockets do we have for it? Like six, I think. Uh, like, yeah, like five or six or something like that. So it, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't a large amount. Uh, five mm. micro-missiles. Oh, right, five, yeah. Yeah. I think I've still got my thermite grenades. I still have three grenades. I have, smoke grenade. I have two, two knives. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think I have bullets as well, but more, more importantly, knives. Alright, we're probably going to be fine. I mean, God Grubs is basically a walking army, so we'll be alright. Yeah, nothing's ever gone wrong before, so this will be fine. I mean, we spent a whole, like, five minutes planning this, so what could possibly go wrong? No. Yeah, we've got Digger and high -vis. Sort of. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, fucking Digger and high -vis, you can do whatever the fuck you like. Mm. Um, right, I guess Dark Grubs is going to jump in, put on his, put on his high -vis, his hard hat and his high -vis. He's going to have, he's going to have no sleeves on his high -vis jacket because cool people don't, clearly. <laughs> 
and he's going we're gonna we're gonna go go driving real quick and just drive around the city till we find the first set of like un, 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 un like unmanned roadworks and just steal some barriers. <laughs> yes. It's like put, just pull up next to them and chuck like half a dozen barri like those plastic barriers into the back of it, into the railing. Unmanned roadworks. Uh, so yeah, roll what roll you mean awareness. Is the first roadworks we come across. If you go and you're going to do that, yeah, you. You're driving down the road. You see, like a fair, uh, uh, semi-busy intersection. There's uh, a couple barriers. Well, there's one that's like three-way um, traffic lights on. Um, yeah, you don't see anyone. Um, oh well, anyone official. No one who seems associated with the site looking. Um, Jock Grubbs doesn't even give a fuck. He just gets out and starts picking up barriers. <laughs> uh, yeah, which is lucky enough. Because um, although, like. Um, uh, like uh, passing motorists and pedestrians notice you, you're in high vis and stuff like that, so they don't even question it. I mean, uh, who's going to argue with Duck Grubbs? It's seven and a half feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> that's a giant Russian man taking those barriers. I guess he's, I guess that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, look, it's DJ it, Big it Russian. Happen. I didn't need them anyway. It's wank. Alright. I guess we got some barriers. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Schley, do you know where to uh, realize us? Yep. Yeah, you uh, have the address. Directions, please. Uh, I'm assuming you can read the new direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't make you, like, RP, like, a road trip. Driving through London. Mm. <laughs> and mm. wait here for three hours. No, you want to get on the M25 <laughs> now. No, you want to wait till Junction. Yeah. Um... Oh, North Circus closed, you're fucked. <laughs> oh, you, you twat. Uh, could we just stop at Clacker Lane, please? I need to, I need to go through the drive through Costa. <laughs> Fucking drive through Costa for the win. Yeah, you're great. Um, yeah, so you, um, you, you get on the road, you get on the highway, um, driving sort of toward, towards the outskirts of London. Um, as you start hitting that, you know that's that sort of sweet spot between like main central london which in in this uh, sort of setting is mahusive and sprawling um and before you start hitting those like little satellite sort of villages you've got that sort of not no man's land but that sort of like ring around london where there's just like airports um industrial estates and like, uh, grimy flat blocks and occasionally, yeah, that sort of occasionally stuff. Occasionally, if you go slightly further in or out, you get like a nice flashy suburb. Oh, so we yeah, are going to Croydon, is, is right? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, basically, that's what I mean. Um, so all right, Lazarus is based in Croydon, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so as you as you start uh, coming into where uh, the um, direction is taking you, um, you notice less and less traffic or like casual road traffic. You see, um, some official sort of like vehicle, some sort of not official, but like branded looking uh, work vehicles uh, by the looks of things going to other um, industrial uh, estates. Um, as you start nearing, and it says you're about sort of, you're about like a minute or so away, you start see it's definitely starts taking a more militaristic uh, turn. Uh, you start seeing a lot more barbed wire and uh, checkpoints. Although you're not going through any of them, you do notice a lot more like armed guards at gates and things like that. Um, uh, as you are approaching your destination, you you see a large sign which um, is uh, there, notifies you. Yeah, is there on the way in a lay by on an industrial estate with like. A uh, slightly cruddy looking food van in it selling like bacon butties. Oh, literally every single lay by. Right. I'm gonna. Dog Grubs is gonna. He's, he's kind of taking stock of the, 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 the slightly. What seems like slightly beefed up uh, security situation. He's, just, he's gonna pull over and uh, take, take, take a break, take a minute, and get a coffee and just plan, plan his next move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's gonna drink, drink his shit coffee from a past iron cup and he's gonna mull over the options. Yeah, there's um, there's also a stool selling uh, strawberries as well. If you're interested, of course. I'm, there gonna, is. I'm gonna go buy <laughs> some strawberries. <laughs> they are terrible. I'm um, okay with this. Okay. So, so, she's just gonna wait in the car. <laughs> um, are there are there other 
workmen around. Um, it's like doggy cafe stuff. Yeah, there's um, what looks to be a trucker um, who's taking a break, and there looks to be a few guys from highway maintenance um, sort of taking a break as well. Um, so that's where they always are. are. How many of the highway maintenance people are there? Uh, just two. They've only got one of those little jeep things, so there's only two of them. Right, so they've got like a little van between them. Yeah, just like one little van. It just looks like it's probably just stuffed full of cones. Definitely. <laughs> just cones. Um, Alright, uh, Doc Grubbs is going to very smoothly, in his best, not uh, like, you know, po Polish builder impression, um, steal their van. <laughs> I know he's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> gonna go up to them and uh, uh, chat to them and start basically. He's basically kind of subtly attempting to get the, get the down low on how the um, if there's any permits or special stuff going on because he's just been sent here by a supervisor and he hasn't got fucking clue what he's up to in terms of if he needs a special bit of help and what we've got to do. As ever, you know, construction companies are organised and shit, so they always give their employees exactly what they need paperwork wise. Hmm. Um. That sounded a bit too real. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, I was hitting a bit too close to home. Um, <laughs> uh, so the highway maintenance guys, they go like, oh, fuck, mate, oh, no, you, you're you buggered. Um, yeah, no, al although it is technically all, like, public roadways around here, there's, I mean, especially Lazarus being the big one, they, they are a bit protective of... Um, their security. Um, I mean, that's probably being a bit of an understatement. I've heard of boys being sort of uh, intimidated on the job and uh, being searched and uh, being sort of chewed out a little bit by uh, um, the, some of the guards uh, placed around there if they've been told to work anywhere close to the uh, to their compound. Mm. Ah. Not good. I mean, yeah, there's like a private fucking army in there, mate. Hmm. So glad the bullet sponge is here. <laughs> That's grubs. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so. What I'd like to do <laughs> is plan B. <laughs> No, Murder I'm trying to, everyone. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to I feel I mean open the suggestions at this point. I have I have a vague semblance of an idea. But Does it involve it. breaking into a military compound? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to work out how grub like cuz I'm in a very strange situation whereby I personally know exactly what I do in this situation, but grubs wouldn't know that. <laughs> like in my head I'm like, well clearly if we're trying to get into their you know their sort of internet feed or whatever. We don't necessarily need to be touching that cable outside their compound. It could be like 500 yards down the road. But the issue being that um, we've got to locate that cable. Uh, if, if you're like outside the compound, you just like walk along the pavement, find the nearest like you know like phone cable chamber in the pavement, and just open that. Yeah. Look. You just have but, to hope that they're on like an open network. They haven't got their own like closed loop yeah. one inside. They they probably do have their own closed loop one inside. Let's face it. I mean, uh, worst comes to worst, at least we'd have we have like an excuse to be nearby. Let's do it. Um, I've got a better. Um... What if we accidentally dig through the fence? <laughs> what about uh, hey, Tid? Hmm. You know, how tall are you? Um. <laughs> tall. <laughs> That's not the question I expected. I was expecting how many missiles do we have? <laughs> He is. Oh, fucking where is that going to be? Crap sheet. Hey, Shade, how tall are you? Um, I don't know, I haven't read it down. So, about 5'9, I guess. I, have like six, I think I'm 6'4. I mean, just look where it would be. How tall would I have to be to be useful? Uh, probably a similar height to what you are in real life. About 5'9, then. <laughs> How do you? Hey, uh, Shred. Um, you, you bring waders? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's shame. I hope you don't like shoes. 
here, here's the plan. Uh, I, I, I have reason to up in a ditch. that it makes holes, so we can do that. But uh, uh, sadly, I'm too big on my feet. So Trip and I dig big hole, open sewer. Uh, Shade, you walk in sewer, you go find the uh, shenanigans. We, 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 we do, we distract. We do things. You find you find way into base through sewer. Okay, your... I mean, I've seen your distraction, so I'm down with not being part of it <laughs> when it's against a military <laughs> cooperation. <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds like it actually sounds like a pretty solid plan. Yeah. Hmm? It relies on the sewers nearby being big enough, but if it's a, if it's an industrial estate, we'll probably be all right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't all go to shit. Literally. <laughs> Fucking got him. Got him. Uh, sewer jokes. Um, yeah, so, yeah, a... what you're doing now, you're going to go sort of the toilet. Yeah, okay, okay, I mean, I guess sewer access. I'm going to pitch that to my referee. Is, is, is our plan feasible? Um, yeah, so um, what you do is you um, you have a little look around. I mean, neither, none of your guys are particularly um, like work minded. So uh, uh, they just, you guys sort of just drive around a bit in the general vicinity, uh, looking for some access. And fairly soon, um, you manage to find uh, some of those manhole covers. Um, one that's uh, roughly sort of like uh, 100 yards um, from the perimeter fence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it relatively secluded spot or is it like open site plain view of everyone i mean it's all fairly open um but you can't see although it is like you can see like the razor fence and everything else like you can't see any guard um posts or uh patrols right now all right so what i'm gonna do is assuming we can sort of pull up on the side of the road uh, like next to the manhole we're gonna pull up over the top of the manhole Mm -hmm. uh, well, I say that just just so the back of the truck where it's got where, where they hit like the bullet edges, so it's sort of uh, open to the air but not like obviously visible. Put that mm -hmm. between like in the gap between the trailer and the van, so or the truck, so it's kind of and then and then you can go about setting up the whole dig at the back of the trailer, like from the back. So uh, kind of we can get you can do you can pull, the, pull the, top of the drain cover off, and it's not you can't you know there can be someone moving around behind the back of the van, and it wouldn't be immediately obvious if you're anything around. Mm. Come back, quite without sort of making a massive thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not I mean, yeah. You're just sort of like, like I said, there's not very much like passing traffic here, and uh, the odd one, the odd car that or uh, truck that does pass doesn't seem to pay you any mind as you guys just sort of like set up, put out a few ba uh, cones, and then uh, just sort of crack it open. And uh, as you look down. It's got you get a waft of fairly a, something fairly offensive. Oh, all right, uh, I want to be clear here. So we're not digging the hole. We're not digging the hole. We're gonna we're gonna dig a hole somewhere else. Okay, so you're not just like pulling up yeah, the so man. We're gonna, we're gonna park the van so it's yeah. over the so the the the, like the the manhole cover that shades gonna go in is between the van and the trailer like on the ground, so it's like kind of not obvious. And then yeah, we're actually going to dig a hole like ten yards away behind the trailer. Oh, just like as an unrelated sort of like. Yeah, cover. literally, we're going to dig a hole. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, I'm not busy. Okay, yep. Yeah, so you're just yeah, you're. So we'll, we'll open up the we'll open up yeah. Well, once we start setting up, we'll open up the drain cover, and let shade slip in, and then put the drain cover back on, and just. Okay. Yeah. So um, I mean, I mean, yeah. Doc Grubbs is having a a, a gay old time fucking around in a digger. Um, oh, yeah, this is going a yeah, piece of piss. This is basically just going like yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like basically, like, essentially, a child in a sand pit. Yeah, he's gonna dig a real big hole. Yeah, um, no one took no one took him to dig a world as a kid. <laughs> now um, he's a grown up. Mate, I fucking been to dig a world. Um, I genuinely, was, a little bit of me really wants to go. It was it was fun. Dig it. It's a real thing. Did you get to drive it around. Dig a land, yeah. Awesome. That would actually, that does actually sound quite fun. It's a lot of fun. You got dig holes. Fucking drive four ton digger is great. That does sound pretty cool. Which, when you're a child, is massive. I can't remember how big some of the others. Were. I, I still not... find four tons fairly intimidating now. <laughs> it's not actually that big. 
Like my dad has one that's what right there. You hear a lot. My dad, of my dad has a full and it's it's, you know, it's it's a mini digger. Like it's not too large. Luckily, I'm quite a small person, so mm, it's true. <laughs> I tend to get more. Whether we like whether you tend to, if you look at them and you think, wow, that's a big digger. They tend to be about thirteen times the bigger. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the way to work, I keep walking by. They're doing some work in the Thames, and there's they've put up a big barrier stopping the water. There's just a digger at the bottom of the Thames. I'm like, oh, that would be really that, cool. Uh, is that next to Blackfriars? Um, like the other side of Black the Blackfriars Road Bridge. No, Vauxhall, Vauxhall Bridge. Oh, right. Okay. Anyway, we sorry we digress massively. I always wonder how they do that sort of shit, like like how they build dams. How the fuck do you... it, to, oh, it, yeah, genuinely, it takes them like three, four weeks to put it up. Uh, so right, they, yeah. basically they uh, they they start put, they just start putting piles in the ground. Uh, oh, okay, and then slowly. Once they put all the piles in, they then pump water out from inside them. Oh. Sarika, I'll take a picture for you next time I walk past it. <laughs> you do that. I will. If you're not sure what a pile is, Google sheet piling in it on the next uh, sheet piling. Sheet piling. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We digress. Yeah. You guys. Uh, yeah. You're fucking around out there. Um, yeah. So Shade, you pull open the manhole cover. You're assaulted with a fairly offensive waft of. Um... Doc Grubbs is gonna tap Shade on the shoulder before he goes in, and without asking, just inject him in the shoulder with some like, anti nausea drugs. Some anti-what? Okay. Nausea. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, Doc Grubbs um, fumbles Trip through. Trip sees this and immediately oh. tells Doc Grubbs you better stay away from Shade's arms. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's done that bit. It's just my sober arm. <laughs> <laughs> Dings full of pain. Okay. Uh, oh, smell. <laughs> yeah, so you pull out some anti-emetics and... Ooh, roll pharmacy. Me. Oh, Why? pharmacy skills, sorry. Uh, see I'm, actually, I'm actually very time. good at pharmaceuticals. Yeah, I know you're very good at it. That's good. Do you remember that one time you injected someone okay, and they died? That's all right. Yeah. One, one time I what? You injected someone and they died. That was on... Oh yeah, that was that was a that was a that was a fumble. <laughs> it was only one. It was only one time. I inject yeah. people thousands of times. They're good odds. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no. He, he pulls out something called cyclozine and. Uh, yeah, you see, dose it up like he's quite uh, careful with how much he's uh, putting in there, and then he uh, just like without too much preamble, just sort of jabs you <laughs> in the arm with it and just, just depresses the plunger, and then just sort of like pats you on the butt and sends you on your way. And he doesn't uh, put it in his cyber arm because he knows which one is his cyber arm because he... he's a doctor. Also, also, my cyber arms are really fucking shiny. <laughs> 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 But I'd, you'd be okay for a few hours with that nausea. Have fun. Yeah, I, I really imagine the force that Doc Rubs would pat someone on the ass is enough to just throw me down the manhole cover. Pretty <laughs> <sighs> um, much. Yeah, so I guess I'll go into the, uh, yeah, the happy place. Uh, before he goes, I'm going to take out some Vicks and just rub it on his, like, upper lip. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just okay. give him the tube of Vix. Just give it to uh, him. Has anyone got any mittens they want to, like... Uh, no, but I do have some like grenades. <laughs> so I'd like to give... I'd like to give Shade three port like grenades. <laughs> and give him instructions that once, he's in, once he thinks he's inside the compound, I want him to plant three of them with, like, remote detonate. In fact, I'm going to... Doc Bob's is going to ask Shade how, if, he, if he thinks he could do them to, like, set up with, like... Some kind of phone message, so we could so we could like leave them there and then just like send a text or something similar. Okay. Um, so who who's doing this little like? I'm asking. Um, I'm asking. Remote I'm asking bomb. Do Doc Grubbs hasn't got a fucking clue how this shit works. He just he just he's full of ideas. Uh, all right. Shade uh, just looks at Trip. <laughs> uh, I was going to say Trip is the more <laughs> just shrugs like. But do you want to roll some demolition? Yes. So if you manage to. Oh, work I thought, out, I thought Shade would be doing the tech part of the detonation. Oh no, yeah, but yeah, um, we it'll, it'll probably Trip be like a tag team. Has, uh, some some uh, Combined, skills. Yeah, he knows how to make things yeah, actually things. explode. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you've done this before as well. So, in fact, maybe strap strap all three together. We'll have one big bomb that's really more effective. So yeah, this is a big yeah, bomb in fun. the sewer 
that's also my escape route. Nah, uh, well, we didn't, we're going to leave it behind. Specifically, like, thermite throw... grenades, which... The idea being, fire my idea, we, you know, if anything goes wrong, or we leave and then we get caught, it just, oh, we'll drop just for the fun of it, we just blow them up. That's yeah, fair, yeah. Haven't anything up in a while. Yeah, mm. I thought like Grubbs is getting with rules. He hasn't, he hasn't caused any, like, yeah. human disasters in a while. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to give him an actual normal grenade and just, like, this is just in case you need to use it. Like, this isn't for any of the bombs. This is just <laughs> if you need to kill some cunts. <laughs> I like how Shay just now has a bunch of grenades. <laughs> and some knives. Very little in between. <laughs> I've, it's just occurred to me, uh, Doc Rob's actually carrying a gas mask, so he's going to hand that over as well. <laughs> <laughs> you may need this. I thought you all had gas masks. Um, Apparently we all forgot. So. Uh, yeah, we fucking all have a breathing mask, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, he won't hand it over, he'll just tell him to put it on. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, uh, John, jump on, you, you jump on in. Um, uh, yep. Yeah, Ian, you... you Unfortunately, there's no walkway. This isn't a big enough uh, uh, drain pipe to have like a walkway on either side, like you see in video games. This is just like a glorified pipe, um, with the bottom probably like quarter of it just it just flowing with effluence. And uh, fun fact, you, you start heard. wading your way through. I've huh? had minor encounter minor encounters like third hand with like actual sewers. And I, I don't know of any in existence in like London or that actually, are actually big enough to have some. By and large, they are you know, the biggest ones in London are like maybe four or five meters across, and they're like the really really big Victorian ones. Most of them are if they're big enough for a man to get in, they're not normally that much bigger. That's crowd because it could get through. Yeah, and that's no, how I fat bergs are formed. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that. They're not normally. Yeah, they're not. They're normally only like a couple of meters diameter. Yeah, um, the good thing about being out in the boonies is that there's a lot less nappies and uh, just like old condoms in here. Um, I mean, it depends how much Lazarus PMC likes to get on with their uh, They don't use condoms. <laughs> ah. Oh, well, there goes all my souvenirs <laughs> for Mr. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, you start making your way through. Um, yeah, you're really wishing waiters. Um uh, but yeah, you you start making your way in the direction you feel was the perimeter uh, uh, towards the perimeter fence. Um, as you as you go down, you come to just like a cross junction. Uh, you have the option to turn left, right, or just continue straight on. I'm gonna continue straight on. Okay. Yeah. No, you so I guess I've there. picked. I probably I went down and had a choice of two directions. Yeah. <laughs> like. Back to London or into the military base. Yeah. So I get yeah. I'll just keep going straight on for now. Mhm. Mm okay. Um. Yeah, you head down that way. Um. Takes you a little while. Um. Eventually, I mean, it doesn't take too long. It wasn't super far away from you when you actually entered the sewer. Um. You start noticing uh, a couple like um just like like numbers and letters on the wall don't really make too much sense to you um they look like just sort of markings and like uh uh more for like uh sewage workers um but you eventually do come to a rather heavy duty grate um, going up across uh, the sewer <laughs> which is basically just thick um sort of steel bars uh, running horizontally and vertically, uh, just sort of cutting off uh, and, uh, access uh, through there. Um, the most you could probably fit through there is probably like... A grenade? A, like a <laughs> fist, yeah. Like a grenade would fit through. Um, but yeah, probably essentially like your fist, you could probably fit through. That's, that's about it. Um, how tough does the steel look? Like, sort of, probably, like, looking at the bottom, where it would maybe have been knackered away a bit by uh, the shit. 
Yeah, no, it's not so much uh, eaten away. Uh, quite the opposite. It's actually built up like a nice grime, mm. like on there. You know, like in like on like sea fair, like sea ships. There's like the barnacles that, and, like all that gunk that just accumulates. Oh, it's like that, but little bits of sweet corn. It's kind of yeah. It's basically <laughs> that. Um, uh, it's just like uh, yeah. This is where you find in like the old sort of like uh, like sanitary products and. Uh, just general shit. You look around like, why the fuck did someone flush an Oreo packet <laughs> down here? And it's just, yeah, it was like tangled up in there. So, uh, yeah, the bottom is a little bit more um, congested, but there's, uh, it's still like holding still. It's sturdy. It is heavy duty. You can surmise quite easily that this was meant to keep people out of this. Uh, yeah, really getting that feeling. Um, yeah. Is he in communication with us? What's this going on? Or... Yeah, you guys have uh, open comms. If you have the earpieces, don't you? Okay. Is it safe to assume he's telling us about this as it happens? Uh, are you? Yeah. I'm also um, just trying to work out if... If you come on back, I'll give you my cutting torch. Can I try and punch my way through it first? Just like yeah. one punch and just see what happens. With my uh, okay. non cyber arm, obviously. Um, yeah, no. With your non. <laughs> yeah, can I give With it? Your a... cyber arm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, roll an attack. Uh, power punch. I'm to give you That's the best attack roll I've ever rolled. <laughs> that, that's a pretty fucking powerful punch. Yeah. Do you want to know how many how many the power, skills I have? So much. Do you want to know how many skills I have in boxing? How much? None. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't need. Do you have any in brawling? I mean, it's basically anything that's applicable, really. Um. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically. That, that was a that, a that that attack was a tale of two like a real tale of three rolls where you got a ten, an eight, a one, and a ten. Yeah, no, I have, like, zero skills in melee at uh, all. I don't yeah, know. no, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, yeah, no, you sort of wind up, and you, you almost like Happy Gilmore, sort of have a little, little like, skip run start, and then just, you feel it perfectly come together, and you smash into the gate with a very satisfying clang, but it does... It does not move. You you look and you can see that your fist is scuffed up. Uh, the steel where you punch, no. but it's very much still in place. Is my hand still really shiny though? Oh yeah, no, it's, oh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit uh, sort of grimed up from that, but uh, not too bad. Cool. I guess. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, walk back and uh, <laughs> grab the cutting torch. <laughs> okay. So um, whilst you're doing that. Um, Whilst you're doing all this, um, uh, the rest of you boy, uh, Trip and Doc Grubbs, as you're seeing this, you, you notice coming uh, down the road towards you looks like um, a military, what looks like a military jeep, um, except it just looks a lot sort of nicer than sort of standard issue. Um, uh, so do we see this? Yeah, it looks a lot more modern. Yeah, it's coming down the road towards you, and uh, as it as it pulls right. up, as it, as it before as we see it, yeah, uh, Grubbs is gonna just drop a comment to Trip to go um, go busy himself at the back of the truck and surreptitiously prepare his rocket launcher. Um, I'm gonna do that, and I'm also gonna get um, tell Doc Grubbs to smear some shit on his overall so that. When they're talking to him, they're uncomfortable by the smell and want to get away as quickly as possible. Good plan. And I will go and fiddle with the back of the thing and get the rocket launcher, um, the missile launcher, ready. As I put, as I pull up, Doc Rob is gonna like lift up his hard hat and then scrap his head and then uh, like a fag and just sort of wipe his hand on a rag. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Um... Um, so yeah, uh, these guys uh, turn up and uh, they uh, so this um, blacked out jeep pulls up uh, on the road next to you, and uh, out hop two um, two rather surly looking sorts. They're both um, whilst they're not like um, 
tactically geared up. Um, they do have uh, bulletproof vests and they do have uh, automatic weapons with them. Uh, they're just. I have sort of... a question. So, yeah. is this happening at the same time as uh, Shade moving through the sewer? So that's this is sort of happening as a Shade has just sort of had a go at the gate. Uh, that sort of grate so under, underneath the. My question uh, to you sewer. is: Does Trip have time to drop the cutting torch down the sewer without being too obvious? Um, at this point, um, he would need to roll stealth uh, and to see if he could do that surreptitiously enough that they wouldn't notice. I guess um, he's just, like, it on the ground next to the sewer cat. I'm just going to keep it on me because <laughs> I, I've, I've already walked away now, so to get it back, I'd have to come back. Mm -hmm. No, 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 because you're standing at the back of the truck getting your tools, and the oh. sewer cat is next to the back of the truck. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in between the um, back of the truck and the trailer uh, for the for the digger. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. That's okay. Which case, yeah, I'll drop it on the ground near the sewer cap. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, so just to sort of like uh, let you guys know that when Shade walked that way, um, it took him about sort of ten minutes. So somewhere around there, um, uh, sort of, because he had, not that it was a long distance, but just that it's really awkward, just sort of half crawl, crouching uh, through the yeah, sewers. Yeah, trying to keep your trainers clean. Yeah, and just failing horribly. Hmm. Um, so yeah, you got about 10 minutes until uh, Shade makes his way back. So, um, yeah, the two boys um, pull up. Uh, and yeah, so the jeep pulls up, and two two bodies jump out. Um, uh, one of them is looking around. The other one, um, who has a bear, uh, like a black beret on, and uh, sunglasses. Um, whilst the other guy is like got his weapon in his hands, that guy hasn't even like his hands aren't even touching it. He walks towards you and. Um, and he says, uh, 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 all right, sirs, um, what's going on here? Who are you and uh, who gave you clearance to be um, uh, in, uh, in this place? Hello. <laughs> uh, we, we need to fix uh, the leaky drain. Uh, do you have a permit? Uh, yeah, it's in truck. All right, let's see, let's see your papers. Are our papers a missile launcher? <laughs> Maybe. I like I like look at um, Doc Grubbs nice. and like raise an eyebrow, like questioning. Uh, Doc Grubbs is going to go to the truck and sort of you know lean over the front seat and casually like pick up his biggest pistol and put that in his pocket, put that weight in his jacket pocket. Oh, uh, well, as you've got your back to him. Yeah, well, he's got so pick up his like, yeah. biggest gun, so he's got like it's just inside the jacket, ready to like. You know, do the okay, thing. yeah. Um, so as you as you're doing that, he's, um, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna sort of search around in the cab, and pull out like a fistful of like tea stained papers that are basically unintelligible. <laughs> oh, his like doctor's old, notes. Oh, <laughs> like receipts. <laughs> They're all That's written like, in Russian. It's, like, it's, like, it's just like a, it's a couple of um, it's like two or three A4 sheets written in Russian. They're just like they've got like you know boxes and like bits filled in handwriting it looks like a like a risk assessment or something. It's like it's got a big coffee stain on it and a bit of food and stuff. What and I like all... is that you're about to show military people Russian papers and go, yeah, yeah, I've clearest to be here. Yeah, and he's, he's just gonna so he's gonna yeah, stand with standing over here with the truck. Okay, um, hand that over. Uh, like here, here are papers. All right, so what you're going to need to do for gonna. Need stealth to see if you manage to um, firstly just hide that gun uh, from him as you're reaching over. Oh dear. Because whilst he's not on high alert, he is definitely watching you. Well, it was a good plan, boys. <laughs> Ooh! Fucking oh. ball, okay. Okie doke. Ooh, baby, did you pass me my um, dice? <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting void, evolved, even. <laughs> Um, look. Where's my D100? Oh, damn. Yeah, no, he was, um, yeah, he's 
just like chewing on his nail. He, he looks like he might have like a hangnail or something. He's 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 a little bit distracted right now. Badly <laughs> there. Um, uh, yeah. So you managed to um, swiftly just like uh, and as casually as possible just pocket that. Um, so you now have uh, your pistol on you, um, uh, sort of hidden within your jacket, um, and you've uh, just collected some of the random just bits of paper and packet stuff just on the floor and just like shoved it in his face and he's uh, uh and he, and just being quite insistent and he's just uh looking a bit confused and he he starts to have a little look through the through it um uh, whilst uh whilst he's doing that uh, the other guy just sort of circling uh just sort of not like not like intently, but just sort of like walking around the the truck, just having a little look. Um, you enjoy uh, my amazing artwork. I, I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm not bothering to like interfere because it looks <laughs> yeah, like absolutely fine. Awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> um. So where's uh, the sewer? Oh, is it where? I, oh, I see you. Right. Yeah, I see it is. that's sort of where you are. <laughs> So um, I'm here. I'm assuming. I think it's a yellow circle. Is yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I was I just. Don't I don't know why trailer is spelled without an e, but it should be apparently. Trailer. That's the future. Trailer. Trailer. It's the brand. <laughs> it's the brand. It's the trailer. Um. So yeah, after a minute or two uh, of like trying to decipher this, he just uh, gives up and he's like. Um, sir, these do not look like valid papers. Uh, I, I'm... Dr. Grub, Grubbs is going to offer him a cigarette before he starts talking. Uh, uh, yeah, take these. Was, is the other guy watching whilst this is going on, or is he watching Dr. He's, he's sort of like circling around, and as time's going on, he's getting... Um... Him getting, um feel him getting... Those, a... uh, you know, you know those, um... The, the thing that I injected, what's his face with? The anti-nausea drugs. Yeah. Do I still have a syringe on me? Uh, not like a ready one, because you used up. You would have used up the one that you uh, had prepared for Shade. I suppose you don't walk around with just prepared syringes of random drugs. All right. I feel like can you haven't I, met grubs. <laughs> can I attempt to get my flask of coffee and prepare a nice little cocktail of drugs to make this guy feel like give him. Mm, just make him feel generally unwell. Not like kill him, but just, I don't know, give him the right. shit. What, like right in front of him? No, like t turn around and, you know, reach into my lunch bag in the truck and just faff about looking for some coffee because clearly that's what, you know, workmen have lunch bags and they. Fair enough. Um, yeah, okay, so. Um... I'm, but basically, with the aim of arranging a syringe that I can, like, a subtly kind of dab him with when I light a cigarette. Okay, so um, so whilst he's like asked for like if you've got the right papers, you're just sort of going, oh yeah, yeah, let me have a look. As you're going through <laughs> do you, do you want a roll coffee? me another stealth check, and uh, so firstly you need to roll stealth check to see if uh, see how you do with this. Whilst he's like first coming back with the papers, is the other mm -hmm. guy watching me? He's not watching you specifically. Is it? Is he looking in my direction? He, he's looking at. He, he's sort of keeping an eye on you and the and the truck and the trailer and. When he looks else. away, I'm gonna kick my cutting torch like into the sewers. <laughs> okay. Um, like, okay. So, firstly, Doc Grubbs, can you roll me some pharmaceuticals? You're going to have a minus two to them, just because you're under a lot of. You're really rushed. Doing it. Fucking nailed it, boy. Damn. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's under a lot of pressure. He fucking was when he was doing his doctorate, mate. <laughs> fucking cool as a cucumber, this big Russian boy. <laughs> fucking med school during the Soviet Union. Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> fucking, yeah, you fucked well, up. Okay. Yeah, that, that, he, he doesn't seem to immediately sort of take any, um, take any notice of what you're doing. Um, yeah, uh, Trip, do you want to roll some stealth as well to see if you manage to kick that 
Oh, actually, I believe, I'm sorry, I just had a more ingenious idea. Can I inject the, the thing into this? Can I make Can I make him a poison cigarette? Um, Is that feasible or not? I don't know. Um, I suppose with your with that pharmaceutical role you just did um, for the drug you you just made. Um, the type of access that you need for the drugs that you have available um, needs to be either intravenous, i.e. directly into the vein, or I am directly into the muscles. You don't have any drugs on you right now that you know of that right, can just yeah, be sort of like yeah, inhaled. Fine. Not a problem. Uh, uh, if you had some like knockout gas or that sort of stuff, sure, like you could do something maybe. Um, All right. I don't know if you could be able to do it, but, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, Trip, you roll some stealth. When he offers him his... Oh, sorry, I'll let you roll stealth first. Um, I'm paying two points of luck into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I burnt on my luck on my stealth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so as you do that, let me just see. Okay, yeah, so as you do that... Um, he, um, the other guy who has his weapon ready, um, uh, sort of looks at you because it makes a bit of a clattering noise um, as it sort of falls down there and makes a, a like a nice meaty sort of sploosh as it um, lands. I'm just gonna look down there and just go, fuck. <laughs> and he just sort of comes around the side and just goes, hey, 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 what's that? What's that? It's like, ah, oh, it's just fucking tools, mate. Or at least it was tools. What was that? <laughs> you just dropped down in there. Fucking didn't. Well, just where is my tools, mate? Got to cut open some uh, wires sometimes. Sometimes you've got to take off the uh, manhole cover. Power tools. It's all that kind of stuff. Probably ruined now. Fucking all the electric's going to be gums up with shit. Leave uh, it. Leave it. Leave it in there. Print. You you, you step back. Step away from the manhole, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, 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 sure. And I'll like close the boot as I stand back. And keep your hands where we can see them. Okay. I'm just gonna put them in my overall pockets. Just shit in. All right. Um, he's gonna offer to light his cigarette with syringe surreptitiously in his hand because he's a smart ass motherfucker. Okay. Like, and uh, he's gonna sneeze at the opportune moment and like put his hand out on the guy's like shoulder to steady himself. And when doing, he's going to put his, he's using his cyber fist, so he can, he's going to use the excuse to, like a sharp edge or something, for them to kind of cover up the jab, as he kind of, he's going to go, like, put his hands in front of his face, and then go, like, sneeze and put his hands out in front of him, and like, and like, graze the guy's shoulder, and yeah, inject him. And, and stab him. Okay. Um, who wishes that? There's not like a sleight of hand or anything like that, is there? <laughs> I must wish the, only thing I can, the only thing I can think of is that he's injected a lot of people and he can do it suddenly if he wants to. The only thing I that sounds... that he'd be able to find the, the, point, uh, the points in a body to inject better. Um, it sounds sort of... to me like a performance role. I, I, I'm almost <laughs> thinking it's a performance role. <laughs> if, there wasn't like a, if there wasn't like a skill aspect to it, if you were just hamming it up, it would just be a straight uh, performance. Um... So you know I'm a DJ. <laughs> Can I have some points of performance from last session? <laughs> that is a very good point. I didn't do um, points from last session. Um, uh, we'll, we will come back to that, though. I <laughs> it's it's not, not, it's not at the opportune moment when I desperately need to be it. Honest, the main people who get who are going to get points from last session are probably mainly going to be Smith uh, and uh, Shade and yeah, yeah. a little bit of Doc Grubbs. Just because, I mean, like, other sessions have been combat heavy. This is the sort of last one played into their hands quite well. Yeah. Um, le I, I, yeah, I think it's just got to be another stealth roll, basically, just to make sure that you're keeping uh, the, the syringe hidden the entire time as you're doing it and just trying to make oh, it. Oh, dear. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, GG boys. <laughs> okay, and roll roll an attack with your um, your fist. It's not an attack. It's just so I can see how effective the actual like. Did you manage to hit in the right spot? Because 
although he might notice it, you might still be able to uh, catch ah, him with it. fucking... Okay. Alright, so this is how it's going to work. So he is going to roll... Um, he is going to roll some... I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm very pleased with this cock-off plan. So he's going to roll some resist... Uh, I love the fucking idea that your extreme range is fucking four meters. Being able to fucking punch four meters away is ridiculous. I mean, I guess it's one of those things where at extreme range, you're basically like taking a couple of steps forward and lunging all at the same time. No, yeah, fucking, it is. it's go go gadget fist, mate. The close oh, is like. Oh, shit. He, uh, he fumbled his resist. I, I wanted to. Uh, yeah, so he rolled, you fuck it up ass. Oh, you jammy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit, they all way through sessions. Yeah, that was such bullshit. Um, yeah, so you basically, he, he just like catches a little glint in your hand and he just sort of goes like, hey, what's that? But as as he said, as he gets like halfway through that word, um, you just, you manage to stick him like high up in the shoulder, like just into the base of his neck. And, um, almost straight away like the cocktail you sort of prepared and um his sort of like his um heart rate getting elevated just as it do it seemed to just sort of spread that uh spread the toxin through just that much quicker and he just sort of immediately just starts going a little bit vague a little bit uh mumbly and stuff so i'd i'd was 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 that was hey i i i and as you're, um, and as he's uh, he, as he's looking at you, his eyes are going wide. He starts just like taking a step backwards, and he starts fumbling for his gun. Uh, and he manages to just whoa, 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 whoa. I'm clear gonna, like, it from his holster. I can out whilst um, he's doing this, being like help to like the other guy, so that he just like turns around and sees what's going on. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So as he's as he's doing that, he's fumbling with his holster. Um, he manages to just clear his gun before he sort of just abs- he just collapses backwards um, and drops uh, drops his gun into onto the pavement um, and he falls unconscious. Uh, he's gonna immediately try and kick the gun of the truck and call his kind of friend and say he's not feeling doesn't look good. That's yeah, so the, uh, yeah, so the other guy, um, uh, so Doc Grubbs is this side. Um, the other guy was actually. I might have. I think from here. Yeah, is is here. Uh, All right, in that case, I think Grubbs is just going to quietly put his gun back in his holster. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. The guy was um, uh, here, like speaking to um, uh, Trip and like having his gun drawn on him. As he hears this sort of fumbling and this obvious collapse, so he he runs. Around the truck this way, as he All comes right, around, he he draws his he's. Justification Grubbs is going to give is that the guy the the, he smoked, the guy I don't think he likes cigarette. Like the the Russian brand, quite strong. They not agree with him. He look quite sick. Um. So yeah, he's um he's uh, so this guy uh, as he fell, he sort of fell backwards over here, uh, as he fumbled backwards. Um. So this security guy is going to keep his gun drawn on you. And he's um, uh, just going to get over to, uh, next to his uh, next to his uh, compatriot and is just going to be shouting at you to. Um, Perhaps he's just uh, going to be standing there with his hands like, just like, yeah, whoa, 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 calm down, man, calm down. No, no, no. He, he just get on the ground, sir. Get on the ground now, now, now. What did you do to him? Grubbs is going to be real friendly, like, whoa, 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 whoa. chill, chill. Get on the ground, sir. I have deadly force, and I'm not afraid to use it. Deadly now, deadly now. Grubbs is going to very slowly get on his knees and still look the guy straight in the eye. Okay. So as, <laughs> um, so as he's doing that, as, as he can see you beginning to comply, um, the guy, whilst he still has... Uh, he's using his right hand to conti- uh, continue aiming at you. He uses his other hand to just sort of shake, uh, check on his, uh, uh, his partner and just sort of shakes him a little bit. Uh, he just sort of lets out like a. Did the other guy shit his pants yet? 
Uh, not yet. Um, he's <laughs> definitely, know, sort, he's definitely he's urinating. Put some laxatives in there. <laughs> <laughs> definitely sold himself, but he, 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 you can only he, he, you, don't, you haven't gotten a waft just yet. Um. Uh. But yeah, so he, he definitely see, still seems alive uh, and semi-conscious, but just very, very delirious. Um, um, well, I, mean, I just wanted to make him like need a shit, so he left. <laughs> it's been way better than expected. <laughs> uh, <Wait>. Better? <laughs> he rolled, it's because he rolled really bad. Um, it turns out he's, al he's allergic to that. Um, so yeah, as you... I, yeah, you... Um, yeah, as he's doing this, um, he um, he's got a radio um, on his chest piece, and he's gonna he gonna take his left hand away from uh, his uh, partner's um, uh, unconscious body, and well, semi-conscious body, and is uh, gonna reach up to call uh, call in for some backup. Out of curiosity, because I have a jamming transmitter in my inventory. If that was mm. on, would that affect their radios? Essentially. From where uh, what, is it? what is the jamming thing? I, do? I don't know. All I've written down is jamming transmitter. <laughs> um, I'm not really 100% sure what it does. I don't know. Where, where did you get that from? Uh, the um, handbook, maybe? Okay. Um, Hang on. Yeah, uh, does it have a radius? Uh, not that I've written down, but it probably does. Because I'm sort of thinking, in this sort of, in all this time that it's taken for this to happen, I'm imagining that you're probably made it back, and you're probably at the bottom of the ladder uh, up to the manhole. Um, so if you do have that, uh, maybe it's not in the handbook. Um. So I got it for like the f that one time we blew up a building. Oh, Jammer, yeah. Uh, there are three ranges I can see. You can see, you can see is one kilometre, five kilometres, or. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, motherfucker. That's the only ones I can see that are like jammers. Uh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, saying about a kilometre. Okay, yeah, so, um, you do have that in your inventory, so if you did want to use that, um, you probably could. Well, I guess it would depend if, uh, Grubs and Trip knew to, like, maybe mention that they needed it. Oh, I'm 100%, like, watching this happening, and, <laughs> like, when he starts reaching for the radio, I'm just gonna go... Um, Shade, jam communications now. Now, Shade just like pushes like a really small red button on a thing. <laughs> it's like, <boop. laughs> um, but with no explanation, just like okay, I guess. Um. So yeah, he's. Um. So as that happens, um. So as he as he goes to sort of like call it in on his radio, um. All he's getting is static, and it's not. He, he sort of like starts shouting uh, down the radio for some backup, um, but as he's doing that, he doesn't get any doesn't get any answer, and he's you can see him visibly getting more freaked out, a little bit more stressed. Oh, go. Hang on, I think I found it. It's just called jamming transmitter, and it's in a thousand feet. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, that's fair enough. Um, Maybe put that in think. brackets after the name. Richard. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I, and because it's just standard radio signals. That's probably the most like obvious and easiest ones to jam, I would imagine. Um, uh, so yeah, no, he's just getting like just static and can't uh, not getting any response uh, back. Um, so yeah, he's just getting a little bit more. Uh, he's getting visibly more flustered and worked up and uh, uh, a little bit more stressed and high strung, and it's getting a little bit more uh, intense. Um, Everybody, just calm down. What did you do to him? I didn't touch him. I gave him cigarette. That's all. Uh, uh, it's, uh, is he, is he allergic? I, 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 we need to get a doctor. Um, uh, I guess maybe you take him back to base. Uh, 
We'll be packing up soon. We'll leave. Don't worry. We'll just, we, we'll be filming hours filling the whole back in. We nearly finished. He, um... Yeah, he... Roll some persuasion. Um, more to just make see if you can come across as non-threatening as possible uh, to him to see if he's happy like leaving you there oh god oh yeah almost <laughs> like a seven and a half foot tall Russian man is never non-threatening <laughs> yeah um yeah, no, he just says, um, get down on the ground, sir, you're being arrested. Whoa, 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 there's no need for this. Get down on the ground, I'm not going to ask you again. What are you arresting him for? He hasn't done anything illegal. You shut up too! And he's, he's, he's just, he's just pointing, he's pointing his gun around, he's sort of like, he's, he's, his eyes are going a bit wider, he's getting a bit stressed out. I'm just going to, like, just be like, look, kid, I'm assuming you're young, you're new, like, why are you waving guns at him? Uh, he hasn't done anything. We're here to work. We've got a job to do. But we just we don't want to be here. Long We're long literally long. dealing with shit. I want to get this done as quickly as possible. I want to have to come back here again tomorrow. And you're trying to arrest him. What the fuck's <laughs> wrong with you? Take friend back to Med Bay and we finish, we close up hole and fix the rain and we, we'll be on our way. No harm done. Um, all right, Trip, do you want to roll some persuasion? See if you are any yeah. more successful. Like, we're literally dealing with shit, man. Like, oh, we don't God. have to be here. Putting more on edge, if anything. And um, I'm going to use yeah. the last three points the, of luck that I have for this. very large Russian is... Um, Grubs is okay. Grubs is going to be I used three points of luck, if that helps. <laughs> uh, let me... See. Um... Yeah, so he, he he basically goes like, um, uh, uh okay, um, fuck, okay, you, you stay here, don't move, we will return t as soon as I have some backup, you have to stay right where you are. We, we, okay, okay. I mean, uh, we will, so you, it's he, literally our job right now. Yeah, so he, um. He sort of drags his, his mate over to their vehicle. Um, he sort of manages to sort of uh, lug him up, uh, fire him and lift him up and chuck him in the back seat. And then, uh, and then he sort of jumps in and then just sort of speeds off and like tears away um, back towards the base. Has, uh, okay, after all that, Faf, has Shay picked up the cutter yet? I imagine so at some point in that yeah, conversation. Yeah, it's at the bottom. Uh, that just was quite a long conversation. I mean, I'm hoping he managed it because it didn't take long to get there. I'm hoping he's got back by now and probably made it started making his way back to the grate, but you tell me. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, you, you used um, the jammer at, at the very bottom. Did, were, you, were you waiting around to see the rest of that play out? or? Um, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, no, just glad I'm not involved. Probably, yeah, you're probably about halfway back <clears throat> by now. Um, so, yeah, you, uh, you continue on, the on your way there. Um, uh, you get to um, the grate, and um, as you get there, um, uh, yeah, I know you just uh, set to work. Do you want to roll me some basic tech? I was gonna check it or... for security first. <laughs> um, yeah, no, roll some um, I don't know, electronic yeah. security or awareness or whatever. Uh, whatever you think, whatever you want to roll. I'll go for awareness, I think. Yeah. I am super oh, aware. <laughs> um, so as you get there, you are able to see that um, there is no um, any other conventional security that you can see at this point. Uh, that's not to say there wouldn't be any deeper in if you were to continue on past this grate. Yeah, um, it was more to just work out, I guess, if the grate was going to sell a gazillion alarms if I cut it. Uh, no, so you, you look at the the, um, the brackets around and all the sort of uh, uh, the surrounding material, and it all looks 
um, fairly nondescript, doesn't look um, suspicious at all. Um, you do actually even mind, uh, manage to see some little weak points where, which might actually make uh, cutting through a little bit quicker. Uh, you notice a couple bad welds that uh, haven't sort of held up um, with time. And uh, you, yeah, just... with probably a little bit of uh, work from the cutting tool, it probably won't take you that long to get through. Yeah, just gonna uh, get to cutting. Uh, yeah, so yeah, um, yeah, you just you you set straight to it. Um, you want to roll me some yeah basic tech? Uh, just see how long it takes you to get through that. Um, okay, yeah, and um, with your roll before you managed to find out sort of, sort of the best way to go about it. Um, yeah, it literally takes you probably two minutes um, uh, to get in. Um, uh, Whilst you're doing that, what the what are you guys doing up top? Uh, I'm going to start packing the hole back in slowly. Mm -hmm. Take a take a sweetheart time, but just start making it look like we're just packing up, but not doing anything too dramatic. So we're just waiting for the the guys' reinforcements to turn up. Um, I mean, I was considering leaving. Mm -hmm. but I feel like that just made them more angry. Um... So I feel like builders being builders, the most likely thing we do is probably just carry on what we're doing. Like we're not going to be, like, we're not leaving, so we're not going to upset them that much. So yeah, we're just gonna. Um, I think I'm going to get trips to stay in the van with a rocket launcher ready to go, and probably just going to quietly pull the hole back in and leave trip. Really. <laughs> so I want trip like basically ready to pop out the top of the truck and just shoot the nearest thing. Peekaboo! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so good. You, you guys are sort of taking up positions. You're you're getting ready. Um, yeah. So shade, you managed to break through time yeah really not quick at all um uh you yeah with like a, a satisfying sort of plot it just sort of falls into uh the water in front of you um and you've got a path onwards i'm just gonna keep uh keep on keeping on uh yeah so you uh yeah you keep going um uh the thing you notice as you continue going is that no matter where you go, uh, unfortunately, sewers are just sewers. So, uh, like I said before, there you continue to see those, um, uh, like just letters and numbers, uh, things at various uh, at various points and at various distances. Um, they don't really make too much sense to you right now, just because you're uh, they're made for people who are workmen. Um, um, uh, but as you you get there, there you do come up to uh, one or two. You do actually uh, come up to a ladder, which you believe should be within perimeter fence. I guess I'll just climb up and poke my head out. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, you climb see what? Up. Just mostly just uh, sort of a little like look around to see where I am, see if I'm near somewhere that might be useful. Uh, yeah, so, um, roll some stealth. Uh -oh. See how, how, how slyly you managed to poke your little, your little head out. Um, how little much gopher. luck do I have? Five. Maybe I'll use a couple points of luck. So I just uh -huh. throw that in the modifier. Yeah. Oh. oh no, uh, guys! I've uh, <laughs> I fucked it. <laughs> oh, um. So yeah, what happened? Um, is, is this like my new cyber arm, and I've just <laughs> thrown the thing off rather than like pushing it up a little bit? Yeah. So yeah, you're still getting used to it, and uh, especially like chromed out. You're not used to how like. You know when you pick up something with your fleshy hand, it doesn't make like an, an instant like clicking and clanking noise. Um, you just kind of like shoved this up and made like a like it sounds like a fucking gong going off. <laughs> Sonic boom. Yeah. Oh, you, no. um, um, and as you poke your head out, um, you are behind um, what looks to be the back of a building. Um, uh, with, I mean, it's difficult to make out where you are, but it's it's not the front. There's, there looks like some sort of access um, close to where you are. Um, there's like 
I mean, just fairly normal stuff, but you, you see behind any old sort of warehouse building, there's like uh, bins and stacks of boxes and uh, barrels and uh, things. But um, as you make, uh, as you poke your head out and you that uh, sort of noise begins to subside, you hear uh, footsteps um, uh, coming around the corner towards you quite quickly. Can I make a dash for the bins? Are they like big sort of skip bins, like the ones yeah. from like the yeah yeah, yeah. No, they're like yeah like proper size. I'm gonna try and get bins. in one of those <laughs> uh, without okay. checking what um, it is. I mean, I've just come out of a sewer. I don't care anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. What's your movement allowance? But what's your like run? Twelve underneath your reflexes. Twelve. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm I remember that's sit. not very good, is it? <laughs> it is not. What is your reflex? Is it like five? Four. <laughs> Four. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, though, that you had just enough time as you... So you were just diving into the bin, are you? Yeah. I'm not really trying to, like, make sure it's closed. I'm just trying to, like, be in it. Because uh, I don't think they're going to expect that sound to have come from a bin. I hope. Okay, um, yeah, so, yeah, in your, you just, like, yeah, as you shove this, the manhole's off to the side, you just, like, um, you just hear the footsteps and just go, ah, fuck, and, uh, you just sprint, um, for the closest bin and just dive headlong in, um, uh, only a few short moments after you do that, though, um, hear, uh, a set of footsteps around the corner, um, uh, you're not. You can't see what's happening, but you just hear um, them. Originally, they're running, and then as soon as they've rounded the corner, they've slowed down a lot, and they just look like they've uh, take. They're taking in the scenery uh, before them. Uh, and it's a few moments past uh, uh, before uh, the person you hear a voice uh, looks like he's calling in on his radio. Uh, uh, um. Uh, this is uh, Lieutenant uh, Colson to uh, control. We're going to need a uh, uh, a patrol uh, uh, round back of the uh, armory. Um, Can I just push my jamming transmitter button again? <laughs> just that doesn't sound like a message I want anyone to hear. Oh, what's so, that? Yeah, so as soon as you hear and see, like hit your jammer again and. Um, yeah, um, initially, yeah, he's going like that, and then, uh, so he finishes the message, and you just get in, like, static back. Um, uh, not really, he, he, and he waits a few moments, tries again, um, and it, it still seems like he, he's not getting any response, so he, he gets a bit freaked out, so he's, um, uh, you can hear him, sort of, what sounds to be unholster as and he starts um, he starts walking over towards the manhole. Is there only one of them? No, only one that you can hear, yeah. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to try and push him down the manhole or hide. I'm, I'm just going to stay put. I don't think Shade would be that confrontational. <laughs> okay, so he yeah, he looks down into the manhole he calls down it once or twice, um, uh, but he seems quite torn between what he wants to do. Um, he, he, he he doesn't want to. He doesn't seem to want to go down into the manhole alone and uh, without any backup. Uh, but also, he doesn't want to sort of leave it uh, uh, leave it left unattended. Uh, eventually, he sort of comes to a decision, and he uh, so it just goes. Uh, fuck and uh, just sort of like holsters his weapon and then uh, starts uh, running off uh, down the way he came uh, looking like he's going to go see if he can get some people sort of uh, uh, personally <laughs> there seems to be a, a, a bit of a theme emerging here Uh, so, uh, what I'm, uh, gonna... You're in a bin. Uh, um, the manhole is open. 
the guy seems to be aware that either someone has just gone in or just come out of that. And uh, he has run off for uh, uh, reinforcement. How long has it taken to get them? You're not, you're not sure. So on the the building that I'm outside, can I see anything like a like a junction box with like cables and stuff? Even it like just on the side of the building. Uh, roll an awareness check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. As your as your. Um. Uh. Yeah. There just is. Lying in the bin, looking up, like. Ah. Oh. Yeah. No. You you poke your little head out. Um. And look around. Um. As you look out, you you have a little bit more time to take in the. Uh, uh, the surroundings, and it, it looks like you're at the back of one of those, you know, those sort of like semi-circular dome-shaped where, like, warehouse-looking things, those mm. like bar like, uh, those like military sort of warehouse-looking things. You're at the back of one of those. Um, it looks like it's um, one of a few buildings around of like a similar design um, in sort of a row. Um, uh, but it doesn't appear to be anyone else. It's just... Um, this building, and then on the opposite side of the manhole is the the perimeter fence. Um, as you look at the back of the building, yes, there is like a type of junction box, uh, which looks like it houses some kind of electronics or or security system of some description. How far um, out of my reach is it? Um, it's like yeah, about ten fifteen feet along the wall because you're against the back the back wall of the warehouse anyway. Uh, inside the bin. Yeah, so is it just up from where I am? It's just like a bit further down the down the wall. Um, cool. I mean, it's a tiny bit further away from the manhole. Than yeah, I'll, I'll get out of the bin and then I'll just try and like, I guess interface into it if I like. Okay. Pop open the cover and then. Yeah, I was going to say the, the, the cover is in. locked. Um, it just with like a conventional lock by the looks of things. Um, are you going to try and how are you going to try and get get it open? Um, I guess I'll try and. Pick it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have I any roll? tools to, with which to do that? Um, do you have tools in your hand? I have a. Oh, well, I have a it, spike. Yeah, I couldn't remember who has the. Um, I have a palm have? spike. <laughs> oh yeah, you have the palm spike. Um, yeah. Oh no, it's Trip who has the uh, tool hand. All right. Yeah. Just, just fucking stick a spike through the lock. Yeah, that actually sounds a lot easier. I'll just do that. Okay, yeah, just roll an attack. Uh, Gombit. Uh, there we go. Jab. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, yeah, da yeah, the damage you didn't need loads because it's not like a, it's not like a heavy duty thing. It's more just. It's like just one cover. of those like little suitcase ones. <laughs> Yeah, it's just one of those little like it's more like yeah, just little locks, more just to make sure that it's you're not getting close to it by accident. Yeah, um, yeah, people will know because there's a big hole going through the lock. But yeah, you've got it open. <laughs> um, you uh, you plug directly into it, and uh, if you roll me some interface to see um, how much. Oh god, damn man. I'm just uh, just looking. At, there's a lot of uh, oh, that is <laughs> gnats some, that going is on a, here. That is where you wanted that to happen. Um, yeah. Can I get a critical success? I download all the information. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. You're not going to get every single thing because you're pushed for time. But um, with that, uh, I'm going to say I'm only you're able yeah. To I'm do sort of looking for to... the guy that we're looking for or. His security, like yeah, just you're... personnel information. I don't really need okay, to know where they yeah, are now. Yeah. So yeah, you find um, yeah. So yeah, whilst you're not just going to download all their information in one go because you push for time, you're yeah, you're able to hone in on that really quickly and really effectively though. Um, so yeah, you see a couple files designated um, uh, as uh, oh, what was it? As, as um, Tidworth, yeah, as uh, yeah, as Tidworth, um, uh, and Tidworth security details, um, and personal details. So you just, um, yeah, you just, um, without looking, you just download all that, 
Just take anything listed top secret as well, so I'm going to be a plan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'll, get, I'll try and grab some, like, secret y stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, uh, yeah, you see. Um, uh, yeah, you see something that's. Um, uh, just labeled as Project Alder, A L D E R, oh. and uh, yeah, you just sort of go like, oh, that looks that looks really sort of just like it was like hidden, like behind a few other things, and uh, uh, listed under special uh, special research. Um, so yeah, you just sort of you steal that. Um, um, yeah, and then I guess I'd just cut the connection there and just try not to push my luck. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Uh, are you are you getting out of there then? Um, yeah, and out on my way past, around, I guess just. So if I go into the sewer again and to the bottom of that, and then I'll just put the thermite grenades in there. It's so like oh, just what, at the, the bottom, bottom of the ladder. Just at the bottom of the ladder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You pop those there. Are you just putting them just like out in the open? Are you hiding them? Um, I'm hoping the shit will cover them. <laughs> that's a fair. That's a fair. Yeah, no, that's a fair. That's a fair point. Um, yeah, so you you just um, drop that in there. You cover the manhole up behind. Are you covering the manhole behind? You? Uh, no. You're just leaving it how it was. Yeah, well, because they already know it's been opened, so fair one. Yeah, it'd yeah, be more no, suspicious if it wasn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, uh, so yeah, you drop that, um, you drop the thermite grenade, and you just book it um, uh, back down the way you come. And uh, as you are getting close, uh, closer to uh, back to the ladder, up to the rest of the guys, um, uh, Trip and Doc Grubs, you notice. Um, Whereas before it was just one jeep uh, coming sort of quite leisurely uh, down the road towards you, it is now uh, two jeeps, um, uh, both coming sort of full pelt uh, down towards you, um, and uh, they just with without any sort of uh, uh, war, um, sort of slowing, they just sort of skid up. Um. So have we finished filling in our hole yet? I how long how long were you making the hole? Was it literally uh, you were just well, making the hole whilst um only while Shane was doing his thing, so it's probably I would like to think it's really like this. Yeah, so you probably about a similar amount of time like filling it in. So yeah, I'm probably about I'd, 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 my pitch being that we're probably loading up and bigger as they arrive. So okay. trips trips, yeah. trips right left in. I'm just driving the digger on the trailer. So we're sort of what here, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, I'd like to think that I'm like just fucking um, just connecting things to the trailer, putting all the stuff away, like doing lots of like heavy lifting. So like I'm obviously like hand like busy and like not a threat. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So um, as you get there, they just sort of uh, screech up uh, and they they stay a good sort of like. Uh, 20 feet away from you, uh, away from the van, uh, on the opposite side of the road, and uh, yeah, uh, six guys jump out, three from each vehicle, and uh, they take positions up behind each of their trucks, uh, behind each of their jeeps, uh, and they point weapons at you, and uh, you you hear one guy uh, start shouting at you to um, uh, step away from the vehicle. <laughs> It was brilliant what she yeah, tried to as, move. Yeah, yeah, just about as you as you load the digger. All right, Grubbs is gonna expand here, I guess. I mean, I'm just gonna like pretend like I haven't noticed and just be like still working on the digger, like checking all the uh, yeah. So they're like, like clips and stuff, I'm making sure it's secure. Uh... They said anything? Yeah, they're just um, shouting at you to get out the uh, get out the vehicle. Oh right, okay. Yeah, I'll just get out of the vehicle. Are you gonna? Are you? So you're not in the you're not in the back of the truck anymore? 
Um, oh, wait. wait. Mm, I don't know. Like, should I be... Like, like does Dotcards look like he wants me to blow them up using the missile launcher? Because that's still ready to go. Yeah. Like, like I'm looking at Doc's Grubs, raising an eyebrow, like... Doc Grubs is just going to quietly, like, give you a quick couple of nods, like, and a grin. Okay, I am going to get on the missile launcher and fire two missiles at each of them. Like, actually, no, we'll fire off just fucking one in between the two of them and just see if that blows up both of them. Oh, uh, we're just, like, here. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. The truck's, the truck's appeared. Oh, the truck's appeared. Fuck. Oh, yeah, they're further down than where I was scrolling. Oh, yeah, so. I didn't realize they were. like, here to, like, can we, can we, get them both. Oh, sorry, yeah. I no, because they're there. Um, <laughs> but it's confusing me. <laughs> They've just rocked ah. up. They're helping. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually. So, yeah, I'm just going to fire a missile into that. I don't know what the... Uh, uh, I don't know what you, like, how much effort you put into tr Chuck. <laughs> Uh, every time I look away and look back, it's got more stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna say yeah because you were at, already at the back of the truck. Um, yeah. You haven't nothing you did to like access the missile launcher from your position looked super suspicious. Um, can you roll? Well, in fact, let's all roll initiative. Oh. Do we get a surprise round? I'm gonna say no because they were all pointing their weapons at you. <laughs> oh, can I, I? I didn't click my token the first time. Can I have the hard roll? <laughs> what was yours? I got 13 the first time and then 11. Yeah, you can have 13. Yeah. Uh, can I have a higher initiative roll? Just <laughs> no, just reason, no. Aren't you still in the in the sewer? Yeah, so I mean, it doesn't even really matter. His way back. You should, you should I have. Thought, I, I thought he got, didn't he get to the bottom of the ladder? Of the, he's uh, at the bottom actually. of the ladder currently. So they don't know, they, don't, they still don't know that he's actually around at all. Yeah, they do not. They think it's just the two of you. Um, yeah, and as soon as you start firing missiles, guess who's not coming out of the fucking sewer? <laughs> I'm going to say, me. yeah, although you don't get a... Um... um and that works out quite well, actually, because Trip was already. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Trip was already going first. Anyway, so um, yeah, Trip, you act first. So Sweet. can you? Yeah, do you want to roll an attack with the missile launcher then? Yeah, I think I've got this working correctly. I don't even know how much damage this thing does. That's not a missile launcher. Um, oh no, that's definitely that's the one. Um, sorry, that's the one I'm looking for. I was going to say that damage doesn't look quite right uh, for that. Um, how much? How much damage it's is it? Four d six. Four d six. Okay, yeah. Um, that um, assault rifle is the. Um, that's the turret. The turret, I think. Oh, I think okay. I called my attack version of that um, truck gun. Why do I have this? Yeah. But um, yeah, that was me firing on the um, with the missile launcher. Um, oh, no, that's that's not the truck cannon. I've got the truck cannon saved, and the truck cannon is forty ten. Is it? Fucking hell! I don't know. It's... Yeah, truck cannon is a lot. Five d six. Yeah, that seems more like. Um... Are you sure that's the? I think so. I mean, it's called Miltech Oven Missile Launcher. Look up. Yeah, hey, no, it's forty six. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah. No, you're... yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, oh yeah, but it'll have a radius on that. Uh, uh, the explosion. It'll probably have like a ten, ten foot radius at least, mm. uh, or ten meter. Sorry. Um, um, I mean, this, I'd like to think this is exactly what an urban missile launcher is for. Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 quite quite well suited to it. Um, <laughs> Attack roll of seven, unfortunately, is gonna it's, it's gonna whiff. It's just gonna ro go a little bit high and overshoot um, okay. the two trucks. Well, again. gonna fire again. again. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Three roll the one. I know. Um, go on. I mean, are they at ultra close range? I'm gonna say yeah for the purposes of a missile launcher. Oh. They're essentially point blank. 
much better. Um, so I'm using the DC as 10, uh, which that hit. And, and that was with oh, my minus three. That was much better damage as well. So, um, Nailed it. Fuck, yeah, so. <laughs> that's, that's a big explosion. Um, <laughs> that is so, almost max damage. That Dr. Was, Dr. Crumb's eyes just light better. up. It would have been a little bit better. I could have got another. So yeah, that hits. Out of it. So yeah, that. I mean, I mean, these two boys here are just, just fucking straight away. Like, no, I'm not even gonna bother. Roll. <laughs> they are just dead. Um, the other two get a face load of like moving, exploding truck. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that they're they're gonna have? I'm gonna roll some damage for them from the the force of the trucks. Them. And then, um, do the uh, trucks explode as well? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna roll something just to see if they do. Um, I'm gonna give it as like a fifty-fifty. Um, evens. Um, yeah. In, in fact, uh, Trip, do you want to roll a d6? Evens. Um, uh, the truck explodes. Odds, it doesn't. And you're gonna roll that twice for both of them. Okay. Like one for each. Even as it explodes, odds it doesn't. Okay, left one explodes. Uh -oh. The right one. Oh. Right one does not explode. So the right one explodes, and that's going to do some additional damage. Uh, Ten, seven, so there's seventeen, and then a little bit of extra. I'm going to give you like some extra bludgeoning, essentially damage. Seventeen, so. These, okay, that guy, that guy's dead. Uh, but this guy, fuck, he's he's not outright dead. He's gonna make a he's gonna make a save. He's in two and make a save. Oh yeah, so he is stunned, but he is not dead. Um, <laughs> these two guys. That guy's gonna roll. He's in critical, and he's gonna roll save to see if he's stunned. Um, he's not gonna die because he's not in, but he is stunned. Uh, the other guy gonna roll. Oh fuck! He rolls the exact same thing. Um, so yeah, both of those guys are just stunned on that. Um, so three of the guards are dead. Yeah, this guard over stunned. here is really rough um, and stunned. Uh, these two boys over this side are s quite stunned, um, but looking a little... They look like they'll probably live, um, but they're okay. stunned right now, uh, just um, from like just the shock wave of everything hitting them. Sweet. I'm going to end my turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to shout, Whoa! As they fucking blow up. We fucking... Like super loud, and, like pump yep. the air with my robo fist. I feel like what and we're then, doing now is just making up for the lack of combat then, last week. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then realise that um, I don't want to pretend like I'm enjoying the robo fist, and then pretend and then switch to my other arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Doc Grubs, no. All right, yeah, um, yeah. Doc Grubs, what are you doing? All right, I'm Doc still Grubs. treating this as combat just to see what the flow of events is going to be. So, Dr. Dr. Grumps is going to uh, um, assumably we're in communication with Shade so we're aware that he's nearly back. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to shout at him to blow up his bomb and get in the guard, get his ass in the goddamn truck. Mm -hmm. Shade, blow bomb, get truck now. I'm just, gonna, well, I just wait for my turn to blow the bomb. Yeah, so... I mean, yeah, so is uh, Doc Grubbs, you just getting in the truck and, like, getting ready? Like, yeah, getting Doc ready Grubbs to go? Gonna, uh, can you climb, you can climb through the back of the truck? Uh huh. Um, intention is to then hose down the remaining people with the truck cannon. Just kind of, like, auto fire, spray them, like, back and forth a few times, and then climb in the driver's seat, and that'll be a turn, basically. Okay, um, so that's half, uh, yeah, I'll say half your movement to get to the cannon. So, yeah, do you want the cannon? Uh, yeah. Do you want me to roll auto fire or? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know how I don't know how that works. To be honest. Yeah, it's it's weird. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Not terribly well explained. Fills the air with lead. 
Yeah, so it could... <laughs> um, yeah, because um, basically the way automatic fire works is basically like, like an area of effect sort of thing. And it's they have to make um, saves against it to make sure that they, they sort of dodge it, essentially. Um, and the damage is anything above the threshold required to hit, that many bullets hit. If that makes sense. Um, gotcha. Yeah, yeah so, um, uh, or the, uh, the, uh, so, um, uh, yeah, that, Have I got um, time to spray twice? Like, a, yeah. Um, uh, so those two guys, um, yeah, you spray them, I'll say. So they are now in more um, from that. Uh, I'm going to make them roll some saves. One is dead. <laughs> One is alive. Oh, good lord. So that boy is... Uh, damn it. Can't reach the, can't reach the death one. Cause it just cuts off on the side of the screen. Oh no, just about. Um, but this guy um, was hidden behind the truck. That man take like a, a good brunt of the automatic spray, and um, he's, he manages to survive that. Although it's hard to tell from your position. Uh, and yeah, roll again for the other guy. Yeah. Oh, oh damn. Headshot. Yeah, he headshot. Um, yeah, he's fucking dead. <laughs> um, I don't even bother roll. Um, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, thirty damage to the head. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's done so. Um, all right, Grubbs is gonna jump to the driver's seat. Yeah, so it's the the guard it would have been the guard's turn, but all of them, bar one, is dead, and he's he's not great at all. Um, yeah, shade. Um, yeah, you just blowing the uh, bomb then, are you? Yeah, blowing the bomb and climbing up the ladder. Fair enough. Yeah, you do that. You um, you blow the bomb. You uh, uh, a bassy sort of uh, thump through the ground and quite distant. I mean, you can't really make that too much in the tunnels. Um, and then uh, yeah, you just climb up nice and swiftly. I'm just going to say for the purpose of this, you you finish that that the <laughs> combat. Not really much else that was going to happen there. Um, oh, yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I was literally just going to get in the truck. I was yeah, you go, go, go and like and load all so. of the bodies for like guns and ammo. Yeah, but reinforcements. <laughs> are they? Are they? Can we see anybody coming at the moment? Um, not presently. It's only been about ten seconds. But you exactly. knew there was. This is the initial sort of reinforcement. They know where you are. Yeah. Right. And I'm where you are. And also, there's <laughs> been some gunfire and explosions coming from over here. So it's fair to assume there will be. I'm uh, going to spend no more than 40 seconds. If Trip runs over there, Grubbs is going to like pull away and spin around the truck. So he pulls up next to them. So Trip can run over there, grab what he can get, and then jump in. And we're going to fucking book it. Okay. So what are you trying to loot? Are you Wait, People. what if, rather than looting them, we just grab the bodies? Oh, yes, do that. Way better idea. Yep, grabbing the bodies, just chucking them in. As many as okay. we can get. How long are you spending doing this? 40 seconds. 40 seconds, okay. Trip is um, fucking strong. So who's way. doing it? It's just Trip doing it. So, I'll, yeah, I'll, help, I'll help Trip. It around. I like it's it. Shane still not stuff them further into the truck. Can you guys <laughs> both roll um, some... Uh, feet of strength. Uh, so that's top right uh, under the body skill. That was strength a fucking feet. fumble, really. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Bitch, I'm stronger than you. Um, so yeah, as so as Trip uh, jumps oh, out it. out of the um, out of the uh, truck, true to brand, um, Trip sort of eats shit and then <laughs> um, uh, rolls his ankle real good. Um, so he's. His movement is really impaired right now. He's not damaged as such, but your your movement is very much hampered. Um, so that puts a bit of a dampener on things. Um, but with Shade's help, you manage to get in um, two bodies. Um, All right, as soon as they're in, we're just fucking off. Yeah, then you yeah, guys book yeah. it. Yeah. Fucking right. gone. How many did we get in, if any? Two. Uh, two, yeah. Two. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's go. Huh? Were any of those six, by the way, that were in there, were any of them the um, original guy? Um, <laughs> they just sent the back the guy who's like shitting himself, just like, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, they didn't send that guy back. <laughs> But the other guy was back, and uh, I mean, did you pick him out specifically to loot his body, or? Oh wait, um, no. can he just he be dead? the one that survived? He, 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 he was survived. one of the dead ones. Oh, uh, it'd be um, I like the idea that he survives and he's now our nemesis. <laughs> I'm not going to specifically have tried to if I got him fair play, but I'll say you did. Yeah, you got him. Can we make it once after a few minutes, assuming we make it far enough away that we can start driving normally and just kind of blend into traffic and shit? Uh, it's, yeah. Assuming it's uh, yes. beneficial to drive slowly and inconspicuously rather than just look at the water like, on the way back. Yeah, you guys, um, yeah, you guys fucking tear As soon as we get to kind of that point, Grubbs is going to um, get trip to drive and he's going to climb in the tractor truck and do a, uh, do a quick once over on the corpses and check for any, like, uh, implants or anything that might be like some, any kind of tracking um, and if, like, if it's like forearm or lower he'll just tack off the front of the hand and throw out the window <laughs> I mean I don't know we've got a Faraday cage inside there would that stop any of the signals getting out um, also I'm a walking yeah. dead zone <laughs> yeah you do you do have still <laughs> that radio tra that transmitter up are you still using that through the middle of town what Oh, you um, still got the the signal, uh, like the jammer. <laughs> right, so you turn it off because that's just inconvenient. Well, I mean, just in one until we know if they're being we're being tracked through the corpses or not. Okay, um, dot grubs, can you roll me? Um, I suppose it's more med tech, sort of checking out the body, like looking to see if there's any like disturbances in it. Yeah, so you you look at the guys. These two, no, you, you don't find any, um, whilst they do have their, their share of, like, some cybernetics, uh, mostly, like, um, subdermal implants and um, some sort of, like, skin weaves and things like that to make them a bit more tough. And uh, um, one of the guys uh, has, a, uh, has some uh, cybernetic arms. Um, uh, you don't actually uh, find... Uh, any sort of tracking devices that you... Alright, Dox is gonna give them both a good shot with his lightning fist just in case to fry any like, you know, if there's anything if, there's, like, if they've got any cyber deck or anything like built in because that's like... Well, to purposefully just fry any like cybernetic Not cybernetic, you know, like cyber arms are fine, but like, you know, if it's like a cyber deck or like, you know, anything that's like Dox, any kind of programming on it rather than just like limbs or Okay, so any any like advanced like electronics that are in there. Yeah, but... anything that might potentially have some kind of trackers off or anything, basically. Okay, fair one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, yeah, you. Give it a quick shot. Use your electron. You use your like your built-in defib to like just yes. uh, sort them out. Um, yeah, no, you. Um, yeah, no, you. Explain. One day I will defib Larry with my life. Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> um, and you'll fumble it, and he'll die. <laughs> I'm going to burn a hole through his chest in my fist. Whoopsie. It'll be like when um, Thor now you have a cyber heart. His, uh, when Thor used Mjolnir um, <laughs> yeah. to like, yeah, defib yeah. Um, Tony, but like you'll just fucking just punch a hole through his chest <laughs> instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you. Uh, uh, yeah, you. Um, it, oh, yeah, everything looks okay as far as you know. All right. Grand, so I guess we're just gonna head back to the four roses. Oh, we we'll want to drop off the drop off the digger. Turn okay, that. yeah, no, you you head straight back to um uh, to Terry's place. Uh, drop off the digger and uh, yeah, head, uh, head head on back to the four roses. Do I get any money back for only being one day? Hey. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah. No. No. Let's back to the you. truck. The truck can stay for a more. Okay. Put that, put that, put that, put that over here. There is the truck. Yeah. Well, I guess <laughs> it'd just be stripping down the corpses because now we've got two military uniforms. Yes, all the uniform uniforms we're gonna store in the truck. Any ID and everything will suck over the trick uh, shade for 
duplication or whatever, I guess. And yeah, no, just edit everything useful. And then when we strip the bodies, we'll uh, more literally strip them of cybernetics, um, break them down to base parts, and sell a lot. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. So, um, a source well, so the two, yeah. So the two bodies you find, um, both of them, yeah. So they they both have uh, body armor. Uh, unfortunately, one of those has been absolutely shredded um, by the auto cannon fire, <laughs> which just blew that all to fuck. So you managed to get one uh, set of uh, military gray body armor. I nice. guess Trip um, would probably be the one to have that, I'd imagine. Um, it's bulky, it is beefy, um, so it's not exactly subtle, um, but it looks like it's very... Alright, I'll, I'll write all this down. So, yeah. Military grade body armor. Uh, military grade body armor. Yeah, nice. cover, that would cover um, arms, uh, ha body and arms. Um, I believe it's a thing of 20, I think it is. Um, can I just take one of their pairs of shoes? Because mine are a bit shitty now. Yeah, no, you can swap out the shoes. That's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah um, uh, the, they both have assault rifles. They managed to take. Uh, they both have... Uh, which one do they have? I like that this truck is at yeah. some point going to become like Baron was with carrying around Warhammers. <laughs> it's just going to be full of assault rifles. <laughs> We're not going to be able to fit in anymore. It's just going to be full of I guns. I mean, there are secret hidden containers specifically <laughs> to hide this shit in there. But... Um... <laughs> I feel like we are going to have to, like... I have got a list of things that are in the truck. It currently, currently contains two, uh, one set of military grade body armor, uh, two assault rifles, a gold chain, a monobladed knife, and a generic submachine gun. Nice, because I've, I've got all the launcher. I've got all the modifications that are done on a sticky note, um, which is bulletproof windows, hidden compartments, reinforced suspension, armor plating, encrypted comms, 20 million cannon with a patch and 365, 360 degree rotation, um, Faraday Crage, mini uh, missile launcher yeah i'm not keeping notes on all the shit you have i'm leaving. uh which i just need to update because we've now got three missiles for so we need to buy more mini missiles yeah so you guys yeah those are the, that's the those are the two assault rifles you had um there was um some of the stuff uh isn't working anymore um in terms of like uh, just electronics that the guys had, like personal like tablets and things, but um, um, they did have uh, two uh, two uh, standard grenades and two EMP grenades. Uh, Grams is gonna shotgun those. Yep, and uh, and then on one of the guys, um, especially I I, I think uh, Trip recognized it as the guy that. You're, you're rifling unceremoniously through his uh, uniform, and uh, you, you come across a picture. I knew this was coming. Do you know what? When when it, you specifically said that we killed that guy, I was like, I guarantee he's going to have like a picture of kids in his pocket. Um, no, <laughs> it, it, it's not even just a picture. It, it looks like a picture, but it, it, uh, uh, upon closer inspection, it it, it um, opens out, and it's it's actually a little card that was made. Um, it was a very, very poor. Looks like finger paint um, of like a bit uh, of like uh, what looks to be a man, a lady, and uh, three children um, of varying ages. And uh, it just says, "We love you so much, Daddy." Um, Why are you uh, do this? Happy birthday! Uh, happy, yeah. <laughs> happy birthday today. Uh, uh, happy birthday. I love you very, 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 very much. Um, Please come home safe. Sarah. And it's all like spelt really cute with like some of the letters are backwards and oh, it's it's adorable. Oh, um, at least I've got our next target, boys. <laughs> um, I'm going to like throw that away 
and try not to think about it. <laughs> um, uh, we're, back at, we're back at the four races. Guys, this is, sorry, this is so. Yeah, I couldn't stop thinking. This is look. That video is literally what just happened. We're back at the four roses, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you are back at the four roses. I'm just gonna order a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's literally what just happened. I mean, yeah, they're not even. Yeah. It's like the extra, you know, security guard number three dies, and it turns out it happens to be his like stag do on that day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um. It's all the better because it's Rob Lowe saying it. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so um, the bodies are not in great condition. I will tell you right. that. Just tell me what we got and I'll note it down and then add up the, top, up the total. Uh, uh, so in terms of faces, one of the one, uh, uh, one of the guys you picked up was the guy that got shot face. So his, it, all of that stuff is just no use. Um, his was also, his, but his was the body armor that was in condition. So uh, the torso and the organs within are in okay condition, saleable condition. Um, torso, arms. Uh, torso and the arms are fine. Um, that mean we get heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys. Yeah, those are okay. Um, uh, the other guy, though, as you go start looking. That it is just shredded to fuck. I mean, his um, uh, he didn't have a helmet on, but it, it must have been like the truck managed to protect his his face um, um from uh the um explosion. Um, so um, the the eyes are okay that you managed to salvage those, but that's about it from him. Um, yeah, the rest his ears are okay. Um, the rest of his body is. Fairly mangled, like not in really an assailable condition. His, uh, his, he do have, he does have the two cyber arms though. So, all right, so we've got two number cyber. Arms. Two, two nondescript cyber arms that you could potentially repurpose. All right, I'm gonna, oh. I'm not gonna sell those. I'm gonna put them in my inventory for future use. Are they <laughs> special in any way, like the lightning ones or anything like that? Maybe it's not really... uh, good. Um. I think that the special stuff is that, like, the cyber fist, the lightning fist is actually independent of the cyber arm, it's like a fitting. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, the cyber arm is like an option that you can get. Yeah. Um, so, in terms of cyberware, uh, where was it? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, not that. Uh,. Um, uh, so yeah, the, the the both of them have real skin, so they're they're quite like realistic looking. Um, uh, um, All right. And they both have um, uh, uh, like a flesh weave. Uh, which basically means that they repair costs of fifty percent less. Ah, that's quite cool. So they're just meant to. I, you don't know if they were from an accident, but they seem to have been made to look as normal as humanly possible. Okay. So it so might have been that he was in an accident at some point and needed a replacement, and he just tried to make them as normal looking as possible. They're quite, quite convincing. How drunk is Larry? <laughs> he is oh. he's uh he's sat with a bloody mary um like at the bar with benny um just like he's still got his shades on but he is he, he looks like he's just about recovering by now this is taking you basically all day so it's it's more a uh what the fuck have you been yeah he's like oh fuck jesus where have you been what what if you offered him a Hangover cure, and then gave him a cyber arm. <laughs> he's already he's got cyber. Oh no, he's got cyber legs. He's got no cyber arm, but he might. Upset. I might. I think I might upset. 
I know he's got the cyber feet. That was it, not the arms. One, just... one thing to give Dan a cyber arm when he's here is quite another to remove both of Hanny's arms when he's not here. <laughs> just because he's a drunk. All right, um, okay, man, that my... just pushes him over the edge and he loses all of his humanity. Yeah. <laughs> just, right, just turns you're... up next week like, oh, you don't have a character anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay, you tip him over the edge into cyber psychos. Um, yes. uh, but yeah, um, I figure that seems like a, a fairly natural place to leave it. Um, I won't go into the details of what you find. Um, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, um... Oh, uh, also, can we, for the benefit of uh, those not present, um, can we just in the evening when assembly uh, Ms. Smith is still out? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Free. Is it safe to assume that I can sell those body parts relatively? Yeah, no, the ones that were salvageable, so the ones I told you about, yeah, I'll just say you. Alright, I'm not even going to bother listening to my inventory, I'll just take the money if that's alright. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm at this point, I'm just sort of treating it as like, unless otherwise stated, you can just sort of, you can just give them a call and a guy will come pick them up in an well, hour. I'm they're not trying to offload a ridiculous amount of corpses. <laughs> yeah, no, you've only got little bits here. So, yeah, yeah, some bobs here and there. Yeah, yeah, bits and bobs. Um, Ideal. All right, that was that. That was a, a fine way to. Uh, I went form. surprisingly well. That it did. It does. I do find the more we involve poor planning and explosions, the better things turn out. Yeah, the the there were some key points. That I oh, you're clipping a lot. I can't hear you. Uh, there were some key points where that could have gone. Really Bad, but you managed to turn it around. <laughs> I'm yeah, thinking yeah. particularly those stealth roll. That's first stealth roll when you were reaching for your gun. I had three points. I had three points of luck into that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Because that that, <laughs> was that last yeah, one. The only time I fumbled, up. I think, was one shot with the missile launcher, and um, you like, fucked up the end, So oh, I'm pretty okay. The burner, you fucked up, didn't you? It's a lot better than normally what happens. The uh, you, the burn the flame torch thing you ended up dropping you kicked oh. into it really obviously. Can't hear anyone. Ah, oh, my headset's muted. Oh yeah, you messed up the um yeah messed the up the, the spell spell torch. roll to keep that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I only that. I only fumbled one roll. It was just you know the one where I could have gotten caught inside the military compound. That would have been. I could have gone better. Yeah. Yeah, that could have. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't go badly. <laughs> it just you know. Could have gone really wrong. I like the fact that, you know, up until now, the corporation we just essentially committed corporate espionage against hasn't got a fucking clue who we are, why we're there, and what we might be doing. Like, they, you know, as far as they're concerned, we're literally just non entities. <laughs> you guys have a habit of doing that. Yeah, we just turn up out of nowhere and fuck shit up and then leave without coming out of the explanation. No explanation. We sort of still are, even with this one, surely. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, you know, as far oh, as absolutely. Like, there, was, there was some workmen. Someone broke into their compound. That there was an explosion. Like, who the fuck knows? That's all they know. And yeah, some guys even with died. even with the first one, they have no idea who we are now. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, just kind of like, <laughs> hey guys, so we're just here to fuck up your building. I honestly think CEO. that's why that we haven't had like more legal ramifications because like. We were just fucking anonymous random workmen. That's the thing. You don't you don't leave a, an obvious you know trail of like motive and like. It's yeah, almost like anything anyone else would have. Almost like in the real world, complete strangers are actually very hard to track down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. What's that movie? Strangers on a train. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, that one. 
Is that the sequel to Snakes on a Plane? It is actually, yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm headed with these motherfucking <laughs> strangers. Oh, this mother. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> does that line. He goes, "You motherfuckers better go and introduce yourselves." Yeah, <laughs> Bitch, you Samuel be the space. Jackson feeling very just harried, being like his, his personal space being invaded by like being stuck on a busy tube train. <laughs> yeah, there were no seats left in first class, and <laughs> um, he had to sit with the plebs. Uh, this is reminding me. So I wanted to do skills. So this is from last session. So um, shade. You get one point uh, to style and wardrobe. Oh, uh, is that for my shitty shoes? Uh, no, this is um, because of the last session that you. Oh, I like, neoned um, up, didn't I? Yeah, you neon neoned up, and you look really cool <laughs> now. You got like chromed out shit and everything. Um. Uh, I will say. Um. I, yeah, you've already got quite a lot. In, I'll, I'll give you another in... Because uh, you've already got quite a lot in the electronics. I think you'll you'll take a, a little bit more practice and, and get uh, any more points into that just yet. Um, what else? Uh, um, I didn't really attack anyone or anything like that just yet. Um, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it's not what I'm built for. Uh, uh, and you can have one more into awareness because you roll fucking awesome awareness. <laughs> well, that's four in awareness now. Uh, yeah, uh, there. Got grubs. You can have one into performance. Uh, as Actually, no, I'm going to say you get two, because that oh, was... Yeah, cause I fucking that was, that yeah you fucking doing, doing some shit. Um, um, I'm going to say as well, because you have... Because you of the... Um, uh, um, like, body mod that you have now, you're just massive. I'm going to say you get a, a, a one into eight. Intimidate. Yeah, just a straight extra one into intimidate. That's a cool. That's a cool skill. Nice. Um, and you didn't actually. Oh, actually, and one into stealth because you. I'm uh, rocking that shit. Yeah, because you were doing I'm some. Getting, getting real good at bluff. It's almost like bluff, isn't it? <laughs> that's, kind of thing. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like the, there's so many skills, but a lot of them are useless. And some of them are like massively powerful and massively vague. Yeah, so ones like stealth and awareness are just um are godlike. Yeah. Um, which yeah, the skill system in this game is a little bit yeah, is a little bit, yeah. a little bit lopsided. It's, it's um, just a lot. Anyway. As well, I think the only other, the only other thing I did was inject some people and drive a digger. Yeah. Um, I'm already yeah. really good at cool, So, trip. Um, can have... Okay. You did nothing. I did some stuff. Um, just trying to think what would be most appropriate. Is there a you... specific skill for kicking things into holes? Oh yeah, you fumble the strength for easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every, all the pivotal moments, you kind of fucked it. Um, actually, no, I'll give you one to operate heavy machinery. Yeah. Um, for, yeah, because you got a little bit of practice with the missile launcher. Sweet. Oh Maybe. no, sorry, that'd be heavy weapons. Oh, that'd be heavy weapons, yeah. <laughs> that'd be heavy heavy weapons. Weapons. Yeah, sorry, no, you're right. Sweet, I know. Um, yeah, so that'd be one to heavy weapons. Uh, and that'll be that. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, there you go. So I, I, I'll, I'll leave it for like the information you get for next session when all the other guys are in. Hmm. Um, for good measure before we leave. I would like to first roll. Are you still recording, uh, Richard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, fuck you, Dom, and fuck you, Andy. <laughs> and um, fuck your cat. Uh, and hashtag fuck Dan, roll play two. Uh, get the. Oh, you fucking did as well, didn't you? Fucking prick. Oh, you gave yourself I... plus 20. <laughs> yeah, so you... yeah, and what? <laughs> so, uh, to very simply review, um, uh, you guys got the digger to dig the hole, dig the hole to cover the break-in, you br d cover the break-in, 
uh, to get the info. Um, and you got the info to find the man. And the finding blow. the man shall come next session. And then we blew a bomb to cover up the break-in and kill some people to escape the break-in. Yeah. Nice. 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 And we got some like military uniforms. So now, when we find the guy, we can pretend that we fucking, work for them. <laughs> some fucking raggedy ass. Well, Mr. Smith will know a guy. Right. Yeah, we'll just get a seamstress. So wait, did we actually get two uniforms? I mean, one of them's punched full of holes. So we're gonna say what? So we got one. Came with a so we got between them we got one decent set. Of... You probably yeah you managed to salvage one set of uh, military fatigues yeah. If, are they specifically orientated towards Lazarus? Uh yeah no they've got like a little like, All right, like um, stylized little eagle. Um, PMC so we have we've yeah. basically got one decent Lazarus PMC disguise. And we're honest. I think if we're yeah. just going for like a straight assassination, that's probably all we need. Yeah, I mean, stick got grubs into military fatigues and just throw them into the building and see what happens. Mm. What's the worst that can happen? The building yeah. falls down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't send trip because he'll just trip everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trip over and the building falls down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I need to go have a shower. I will have fun. Love you, leave you. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen.